So, uh, last session, you had uh, started at Yester Hill after defeating these uh, individuals performing some kind of ritualistic prayer uh, near a tree, which um, Tem had believed to be Im um, important to the Raven Queen in some manner and was confirmed by Nikolai through using the Tome of Strahd to delve into the history and past of Barovia. Um, some kind of shrine potentially related and sacred uh, in this manner. And after you had um, with, the, with the twig that you had broken off from it in hand, you left towards the Wizards of Wine Winery and checked in with Adrian before you left and spoke with him. He told you that uh, some of them had went out and they were expected to be back by nightfall and uh, they should have the location of Baba La Saga. Uh, you traveled on to Kresg, mostly uneventfully, aside from a couple of figures you had seen flying through the sky above. Uh, as you got to Kresk, you decided to take a rest for the night at the Abbey, and while doing so, Sazed had uh, spoke with Adrian and discovered that um, Davian and the other were-ravens who had went off had still not returned, and he feared the worst for them, which, when morning came, was confirmed that some of them had been killed, and uh, their skulls and some of their feathers returned as a grim message. You assured Davian that uh, you would find Baba Lasaga or whoever had done this, and hopefully the last remaining were raven, wherever they might be. And you took the twig to Jenny Greenteeth, the witch of Kresk, who had requested it, and she revealed herself to to actually be a priestess of the Raven Queen herself. And that her sister was trapped and it was why she needed the stick. And in using it, she was able to locate her sister, uh, who she said was being held captive by Baba La Saga in the swamps of Berez. She pointed you in its direction and told you of where its location might be and uh, requested that you might aid her in freeing her sister with your motivations currently geared towards defeating this uh, evil hag. You agreed to assist her in this. Um, so after gaining access to her teleportation circle, your group uh, traveled to Velaki. Uh, well, in Velaki, you noticed a uh, large increase in the military presence of the guard. Um, many new recruits, it seems, have uh, been spurned to join after seeing uh, Isaac uh, stand so boldly against the Burgomasters and uh, seem to kind of hero worship him a bit. And uh, as you left out of Velaki and began to head your way south towards the uh, swampy ruins of what was once Perez, um, you saw a figure moving at the very trees around you as its large form uh, shifted through the swamp. Bon <laughs> scouted ahead, attempting to uh, discern what this was and found it was a large home uh, moving on a tree stump throughout the swamp. And he nimbly infiltrated his way into it and found out that it was quite capable in defending itself. So he fled quickly into the Swamplands, which was also home to uh, quite a few giant creatures that he had seen. Um, and with a 
injured Vaughn and uh, injured but invisible Vaughn and uh, <laughs> the rest of you waiting patiently in the nearby ruins. That is where we start tonight's session. Me running like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we will start <clears throat> at the carriage where you all gather around outside, patiently waiting on for on Bond's return. You think Bond died? It's only been like four minutes. He seems like the type that could die that fast. <laughs> well, let's give him some more time. Yeah, I'm sure he'll contact us if something happens. Uh, as you have this conversation, you notice around you the shadows of the trees stretch across the ground towards all of you, defying their natural state, normally created by the faint light that passes through the mists. Oh, I back they, up from the shadow. They pick up in their pace as they quicken, uh, moving towards you, and ultimately gathering and coalescing beneath Nikolai. Skeletal limbs erupt forth from the earth, begin clutching at his robes and his legs. His eyes begin to glow with flaming arcane energy as he prepares to magically escape their grasp. A bony, detached hand rapidly climbs up his body and wraps across his mouth, catching his breath and the magical words in his throat as the bright energy fades from his eyes. The hand grasping him pulls on his form as he is slowly dragged into the earth. Everyone there, I need you to roll for initiative. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Whoop. How do I... Whoop. I lost a d20 and I'm sad about it. Or... Click on my character. Click oh, on sweet. this button. <laughs> Oh, not sweet. <laughs> okay, those of you, uh, Dresley, starting with you, what would you, uh, what would you like to do in reaction to this? We're missing. You see these oh, uh, skeletal here, hands reaching out from the earth, all these shadows swirling around, and he's slowly being pulled down. Barely nothing. Um. Me. I don't. Dude, I don't have the pointer on anymore. Um, I want to try to, like, attack out guy what's grabbing him. Okay, at the skeletal figures? Yeah. Okay, um, go ahead and roll attacks. Oh, I closed out my character sheet. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? There's the first one. Okay. Uh, as your strike slams into the side of one oh of these figures, bones shatter out. Uh, but you see another skeleton quickly climbing up <clears throat> to replace it from someplace unknown. Your second one also oh. makes contact with another skeleton that's reaching out from the earth. It crushes beneath your warhammer, and you see another hand quickly replacing it. Where are these things coming from? Round hell. That ends your turn? Yeah, that's both of my attacks and... Okay, say it. you're up. Oh, I'll grab his body. Somewhere that I can reach. And Dimension okay. Door us out. Where are you heading? Uh, 80 feet backwards. 80 feet up the road away from the ruins? Yeah. Okay, you grab out and you see his hand extend out, grabbing your wrist. You teleport off. But you don't feel him any longer in your hand. Instead, you feel wrapped around your arm, the scarf. Ah! You look back and he is still being pulled down. Oh, I'll use my movement to run up as far as I can. 
Okay, Tem, you're up. Mm, this. There's still a bunch of skeletons, or is like Nikolai they, gone now? They continue to pour out rapidly, grabbing at him, pulling him down. Oh my god. I can't really... Can I reach him? Yes, yeah. you can reach him. I'll just Eldritch Blast the skeleton hands. Okay. Go All ahead right. and roll Eldritch uh, Blast. What? Okay, your beam <laughs> strikes. Your beam strikes into one of them, uh, <laughs> shattering its skull. What fucking timing! Right. See, like, so there's like hundreds of them on them. There are dozens, just dozens, dozens of limbs coming up and half torsos coming up from the ground, grabbing onto him. I mean, Eldritch Blast is not really doing shit. I guess I already did it, so I might as well roll the other one, but... <laughs> okay, you shoot off another beam, and you see more of... Or another skeleton uh, shatter in front of you. As as it uh, blows into pieces, another one reaches up, climbing up his body. That's all I, that's all I can really do. That's my action. Okay, Casimir. What would you like to do? Uh, hold on, I'm looking at spells. Cause that's... Can I get close enough to Nikolai? I don't know where I'm standing, if I can get within... Close enough to... You, you can get within uh, five feet of him, yes. Apparently. Okay, you were not far from each other. Can I grab a uh, bottle out of my bag of holding and just chuck it straight at his face? face point blank range so it shatters <laughs> and uh causes him to take on a gaseous form a gaseous form okay uh as you throw the bottle out from your hand you see one of the skeletons extend its hand out towards it some oh. magical force shoots out from it uh erupting the magical energies inside the bottle as it uh splashes across the skeleton does that skeleton become a gaseous form? <laughs> it seems as if the magic was prevented. Um, counter spell. Mm. Counter flask. The end of your turn, uh, Nikolai begins descending rapidly further into the shadows as the skeletons begin rising from the ground, Is climbing his form while they pull him further into the darkness. No, he has a skeletal hand gripping his mouth closed. Is he struggling? A chorus of whispers echo forth from the skeletal mouths. This one belongs to us. As they drag him down below the earth and the shadows shriek or scatter with a blood curdling shriek. All you hear around you is the sounds of the swamp. What was that? Oh my god. That's Chuck, what was that laugh? I don't like that. That's the sound that scared me. What's happening again? Can <laughs> I like start looking around like guys, someone Where did he keep the tome? Is that where they took him? I'll catch up, obviously. Make my way back. Yes. Oh. Wasn't the tome in the scarf? What happened? Where did he go? Down. Does anybody know what that was? It looked like a skeleton's hand. Like a bunch of them, right? <laughs> lots, lots of skeletal hands. Sorry, Raven is 
my favorite. She can do whatever she wants. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she's a... trying to let me know she's going to be home on time. Because she's the best child. Of course she's going to be home on time. This might seem like a really insensitive time. But does anybody have your flesh rights? Oh, what? what? The rights to your flesh after you die. I don't think that's a common thing here. I'm just saying, if you would like to donate your body, I can advance science. You're right, this is a very inappropriate time. Just something to think about. I'm uncomfortable. Why? Why you want my flesh rights? What I, is that? I, wanna, that I look around. Terrible. I want to do stuff with your body when you're dead. <laughs> Why do you gotta put it like that? Is there, oh my God. Is there anything else around? No more shadows, no more hands? Here, give me a perception check. Hmm. Um, that didn't leave in the train. Fuck! Mm, plus... Six? We're thirteen! Thirteen. Um, it seems as if the shadows around the area have returned back to their normal uh, positions, placed underneath the trees at the correct angles they should be. And you do not see any skeletal figures uh, nearby either. Bon, are you okay? Or even, even in the ground, it looks completely unchanged, as if it was not affected by whatever happened. Bon, are you okay? Uh, yeah, brother. I'm on my way back. <laughs> you know, the streets are hard, brother. <sighs> You're telepathically communicating. You don't have to pant. Oh. Something got the... Nikolai. They took him away. We don't know what. What do you mean, something got Nikolai? Did you get him? Hurry back. No. On my way. See you in three minutes, brother. <laughs> three minutes of pain. Of playtime. Uh, Bon, as you are making your way back to the swamp. Or back to the rest of them. Where I did. Yes. Running. I'm just full full steam ahead to back uh back towards uh them. But also keeping an eye out for those uh, crafty giant acid ogre thingies. Because they're be invisible. Something... Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I haven't attacked anything, so uh, yeah, I am full on bonus action dash, action dash, movement dash. Oh yeah, to all the dashes. He's a fast. Okay. Tippity tappity uh, tippity. Bon, as you yes. as you are running back, you do see uh, a very large form. Um, traveling across the sky quite rapidly. It appears to be heading in the direction, or in your direction at first, as it's quickly descending from the sky, but then it you notice it's actually moving towards the hut which you are running away from. Oh no. Baba's back and she's good because of problem. As... <laughs> um, give me a perception check. Oh uh... So that was just a perception, perception, make sure. Ooh. Okay. Um, all you can see is uh, essentially a an off-white colored blur just moving really quickly straight towards that hut. And it lands uh, somewhere above it before it disappears. And you I'm notice the to... hut begins to stand up again on its root spider-like limbs. Uh, I'll reach out to the uh, telepathically yell out to my uh, friends. Hey, did any of you guys see a bird fly to 
My direction. No. Bird. I did not. Oh, okay. Something landed at the hut. Oh, shit. Is that Adrian? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a running towards you guys. I thought I Adrian. To go to the hut. I thought Adrian would, le was leaving it to us. We already talked to him. He's not oh, coming. Oh, he is very uh. Not I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him to come here. Then he would have came with us. Why would he even oh, lie no. to us and then come afterward? He said he had kids to look after. Yeah. It's definitely not him. Which means... Um, as right. you pause, there says it, you hear a uh, hoarse, choked cause ring out through the swamps, followed by the heavy beating of hundreds of flapping wings. You see dozens of sickly green glowing birds, uh, familiar forms that you had seen before at the winery, gathering together. They form what appears to be the rough visage of a wolf's face that hovers hundreds of feet in the air above the marshy ruins. We have visitors in our home, children. Hunt them out. Bring me their flesh so I may flay it from their bones and bathe in their blood. A wicked cackle erupts as the flock separates and sweeps through the twisted trees in all directions. Oh, time to go. On. As you see this, you notice uh, the giants, um, as well as some other forms that you had not noticed before, uh, appear to be plant-like creatures, start moving off through the swamps in rather random directions. Give me a, a stealth check. You are still oh. invisible, but uh, moving through this marshy territory should be a disadvantage, so give me a straight one. Just a normal stealth check. I got, I, I got my one out, so this time it's going <laughs> to be Another one. I mean, natural, natural 20. Ooh. Eh. Okay. Close. You seem to be moving past these uh, figures, these large mounds of uh, vines that just shamble across the water without being noticed as you make your way. So what's everyone doing? Should we run? Toward the hunt? I think we're here to... Take her out, right? Maybe we can come back when we're not oh. under watch, alert, not alerted. Mm, I think it'll be very difficult either way to get into her, her hut unnoticed, whether we wait a couple days or not. Oh, better think of something quick then. Um, can we see? Can can we see her hut from where we're at? You cannot see where it's at. Um. I don't, I, I think it was even, it was far enough away that you wouldn't have even really seen the movement when uh, Bon had riled things up with it. Okay. Um, give me a perception check now, though, to see uh, what you can see. Okay. Um, you do see uh, off in the distance um, on somewhere around the southeast side in the forest. Uh, the trees move and shift as if a large form is shaking the trees. Um, you also see some of the trees not far off from you to uh, the west and north a little bit um, also moving. Uh, bon. Um, not much further away from the carriage, you notice now uh, two of those large giants seem to be making their way roughly in the direction, the same direction you're going, towards the carriage. Uh, <clears throat> Just a heads up, guys. There's two giants moving in your direction, so be careful, brothers. Oh, how much further? Sorry, how much further am I? Like, am I just just? I guess how much um, further do I have to go? You are probably probably still a 
few hundred feet out. It was a bit of a trek to get to that, uh, or through the swamplands to get to that. Um, okay. To get to the height, and this area is very large. Yeah. Um, but you're you're not too far away. You're you're moving as quick as you can uh, to get there. And and as you are moving, it does seem as if you are starting to catch up and might potentially outpace the the uh, giant figure. If you want to uh, run past them, which will require another stealth check. Uh, I think I have to. I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to try to meet up with my, uh, my, my friends. Okay. Right. Big money, Next hopefully friend. whammy. Ooh. Okay. Um, you quickly rush through this uh, space between them seeming to not disturb the water hardly at all as you pass by. they uh, You notice they are searching around through the swamp, uh, moving out from the thick tree, uh, the thickness of the forest part around the swamps and out towards the more open area of the ruin. Uh, Dresley, what were you going to ask? Um, can we try hiding in the room? I think that's a good idea. Is can I find like a rock or something? <clears throat> something kind of big that I can pick up. A large rock to pick up? Yeah, like it doesn't have to be like a huge boulder. It's like a Right, um, like something you could physically pick up. Yeah. Um Give me a investigation check. Um, as soon as I find it. Um, it takes a little bit of time and you start to hear the pounding of large uh, footsteps as you finally find a, a pretty good sized rock. Um, it's uh, probably about the, the biggest thing, that, or as big as you could carry um, for a very short distance. Right. Um, can I can I cast light on it and kind of the over this way? Oh, you were looking for a rock that you could just throw, like a big rock that you could throw. Yeah. Okay. Um, that wouldn't take as long. Give me a. I guess give me a strength check throwing the rock. See how far you can throw it. Okay. Uh, what's everyone else doing as Dresley casts light on this rock and throws it off towards the ruins, or where are you throwing it towards? Um, kind of towards this way, because I'm fixing to do this. Okay. Uh, I'm waiting if to see if, if he does. If we were said that we were going to go hide in the ruins, Kazgar will start limping his way that way. Uh, okay. I pick him up and run toward the ruins. I go, ah! Okay, well, <laughs> okay, you, I run as well. You are you are all running off towards the ruins. Then, as uh, as Dresley throws this uh, rock off towards the far side of the ruins. Bob, um, we're going to the ruins nearby. Give me uh, give me stealth checks as you attempt to hide. Oh once, 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 I'm, once. I'm not, a, I'm not attempting. I'm, I'm, I'm flailing. Do we get advantage because I kind of gave them something to look for besides us? Where's my? Oh. Shit. Oh wow. <laughs> Wait, I gotta do it again. Hold on. You're in heavy armor. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so really? Beautiful. Both of us are. Yeah. Scale um, mail is heavy. If, if I knew this, I, I would have gone to my kitchen, grabbed some pots and oh, pans God. for some sound effects. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered because you got Casimir. Casimir <laughs> is not I'm self. He's, in just, self. he's just flailing because he got picked up and he doesn't know exactly what's happening. Can I <laughs> cast at third level major image? 
Okay. Uh, what would you like? I assume to... we're going into this like little ruins yeah. thing. Uh, just kind of an image of the wall, but it's like closed off, where they can't see into where we are. Okay. They they are very uh they're not full walls. They are kind of like half walls. They seem to be uh mostly destroyed bare remains oh. of of buildings. Do they cover us? Um, you can you you can definitely duck behind them and uh, not see over them or assumably be seen. Is over this them. actually forty feet? Yes, uh, this place is huge. It only goes up to twenty feet. Then I probably wouldn't do that. I thought I could like close it off. You you'd like to use major image to try and create some form of barrier to make it uh, yeah, make sure. the area appear closed off. I understand. Okay. Um, okay, as you move into these ruins... And it smells uh, bad, so they avoid it. Rushing past, <laughs> you hear, or you see these uh, scarecrows standing uh, near the ruins. Uh -oh. And as you begin to approach them, they begin, or one of them begins screaming loudly, this oh, horrible God. wail just emanating from it. It doesn't seem to move, but it screams. Is that pre-casting major image? Uh, yes, it is pre-casting major image if you would like to, because it would happen as you approach the, the ruins here. Uh, and as you look out further around uh, the ruins, you see these scarecrows dot several different areas here, all looking God. quite similar. Which is there only one of them screaming right now, or like yes, all? Yes, it is one. It is one screaming right now. Kill it, this kill one right it. here. I think oh, they know we're double here. Eldritch Blast! It as it starts okay. screaming, I will unleash my Eldritch Blast on. Roll two uh, blasts of Eldritch Blast for me. <laughs> okay, four. both both of those do connect, and uh, as they strike into the form you see straw and bits of burlap fly in different directions as the uh, the post is blown apart and it stops screaming you all quickly duck behind cover here and uh, what would you like to do as you hear the footstep or the big the stomps of these heavy footfalls still approaching the ruin are we still hiding here 180 can i 180. Fuck, it's too far. How close do I have to get to this thing? Damn! Can I... Okay, so we destroyed this one. Can I move over here and shoot this one next? Okay. You uh, pop out from uh, this area here and uh, shoot off another two blasts towards that scarecrow? Yep. Okay, go ahead and roll attacks on it. Um, the first one strikes into the post, and you see it uh, tilt to the side some, and the second one strikes into its center, and it blasts apart, um, completely shattering the figure. You watch it fall to the ground. Uh, bon, you notice uh, one of the giants over your shoulder as you're making your way over here towards the sound of this high-pitched screech that is just cut short. Uh, grab the shoulder of the other one and shake it and point off in the direction of the shriek. And as you come into this uh, clearing, seeing uh, all of your companions here uh, ducked around this cover, uh, Tem, standing up, shoots the uh, a nearby scarecrow and it falls to the ground. Can I... S can I sneak out a little bit and get in within range of this one? Oh, it's 120. It's like so far out there. I just want to get out there as quickly as possible. N no, I don't want that one. I, just, I want this one down here. But I want to hit it with Eldritch Blast, but I don't want to kill it. Like, I just want to try and raise it with Eldritch Blast to set it off. Like, I uh, want it to start screaming. The number of scarecrows on the map are not entirely represented here. There are several of them across, and if you were to spend time to try and destroy all of them, it would take uh, quite a bit. You would notice no. that. 
I don't I don't want to destroy it. I just want to set one that's far away off so that it starts okay. screaming so you're... like way over there. Okay, I got you. Um Yeah, just give me a but give I me a roll a... with the Eldritch Blast. Okay. See if I'm you not in it. 120 feet, but uh I can move up a little bit. I I assume I can move up a little bit without like Yes. Uh, okay. you can move up uh trying to not uh, get close enough to any other ones to aim off at one off in the distance. You strike it, and it begins to shriek. Do you shoot it no. with another blast? Do you just nope. move away? Okay. I just move away, and I'm going to let it scream, and I'm going to hide here, get down on, on, on my belly. <laughs> get down, get down, get down! Oh, I hide in there too, then. Okay, uh... Bon, what are what are you doing as you see them ducking down here? I'm gonna whisper out loud to him. Psst. Ah! Guys aren't hiding very well. There's also two giants heading right this way, so that's fine. Yeah, that's why that one's screaming so that they don't see us and they go to that one instead. Just hide here for a second. Easy, um, I'm as... still invisible. How long does this last, by the way? Another probably 45 minutes. Okay, good. So oh when you guys all die, I'll be far away. I will cool. switch it to myself before that. Um, as as uh, this shrieking scarecrow continues across the other side of the ruins, and you hear uh, this heavy stomping of feet uh, making its way towards you, Go ahead and give me um, give me stealth checks again, uh, right. trying to hide from the giant. Dice don't fail me now. Um, just just do uh, I was gonna say just do straight rolls if you have disadvantage. Do advantage if you don't, because I was I was counting that for last time. I should have told Casimir to, and says to roll advantage, but I didn't think about it. Sorry. Fuck. Uh, oh god. I'll stick with my nineteen. I've settled down. <laughs> I have relaxed. I've got okay, um, <laughs> as you uh, as you huddle here in the ruins, trying to hide, you hear uh, the heavy footfalls of one nearby, a large figure, um, fifteen feet or more, towers nearby. It's large distended belly uh, bubbling with some kind of uh, smoking ooze. Uh, it surveys around the area and then it looks down. You notice it looking directly at you, Tem, as you risk a glance upward. <laughs> oh shit, we've been ahead. It slams its hand into the side of the wall nearby and starts to shower you all with rocks. I'm gonna stab um, I need everyone to roll for initiative. Damn. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna stab it. I don't stab a slap or oh, slice Oh, that's way grosser looking than I thought. Oh, there's two of them! Hi, uh, yeah, I said there's two uh, Oh! What's I up? What's it. up, my dudes? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, ladies we're starting ladies off ladies like usual. This is like, fucking the wrong ladies. kind of Jolly Green Giant, Jesus Christ. I, I thought he was giving us the finger at first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might as well. We're fucked. <laughs> what do uh, I say? Don't let him grab you! I think I rolled before you did the thing, but I rolled a 19. Or, I rolled 17 plus 2. Okay, now let me set this up more accurately to how you guys were. Here, I'll just roll again to get on the board at least. It's got you on here. At 19. No, uh, on my screen it wasn't there. Did you scroll up? No, because I don't even have the full thing. It's there for me too. Well, mine doesn't work, so... Sorry. No, I'm up there twice. Did I delete yours or did I delete mine? You deleted mine. As long as you know, as long as you know where you go. Yeah, I know when you go. I'll tell you. 
So this guy would have been here, and this one would still be back here. Uh, Casimir, you are up first as this figure showers you with rocks and debris. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is shake out of Sazed's hands. I, no, I had thrown you into the thing by now. Oh, I just like to pretend you were still holding me. Oh, God, no. Gently. And uh, that one is really close to us. Probably ass is not the way to go. So I will... pull the stone off of my belt, scrape some uh, flint against it, and then chuck my flaming sphere towards him. Okay. Um, can at you link third, that again? Because I at, don't At remember. third level. Oh, we could just give me a second. Bell. Flaming sphere. It's basically just a sphere that I can control. Oh my gosh, everything's lagging real bad. Hold on. Oh no. It's a 10 foot aura or 5 foot aura? Uh, a five foot diameter sphere of fire appears in an unoccupied space of your choice. And with my bonus action, I'm going to ram it into the giant nearest us. Okay. Um, as this flaming sphere materializes and slams into the side of it, that's a dexterity saving throw. DC 17. You see it clumsily shift to the side as it slams into it. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, it's eight. Eight oh, okay. fire rolled damage. It. Yeah, I already rolled it earlier. Okay. Anything else from your uh, for your turn as the flames splash against it? Uh, I will hobble my short the last twenty feet this way. <laughs> twenty feet that way. Yeah, I don't want to be right next to this dude. Okay. Right. Uh, That'll be my turn. As you, as you move away from it, it reaches out over the top of this wall. That is a 16 to hit. I go to grab it with my gauntlets, and as I grab the finger, it smashes into me. <laughs> I have a 14 AC. Okay, you take, uh, take 8 bludgeoning damage. Did not roll very well. Good, thank you God. take eight bludgeoning damage. He's got as you uh, hobble away. Uh, it, it seems to just uh, barely miss you with uh, grabbing you with its hand. Um, let's see this one on its turn. Wait, Drizzly, you're first because you're faster. She only rolled a 17. He rolled a 17.08. <laughs> oh, we know what their dexterity is. Uh, something I that's point zero eight. I guess I'm going to move towards it. Okay. Don't do it. No. Don't do it. She's, She's going to hit it. That belly's going to pop. Well, if she hits it in the face. What would you like to do? No, I'm thinking, like, as short as Drizzly is, it'd be, like, oh. the thigh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she shoots all oh, ankles, sprouts, sprouts wings, uh, and flies up in the air. Not that kind of ass. <laughs> Bonus action, divine favor. Okay. And then two attacks on him. Okay, your Warhammer begins to uh, glow as you strike out. Uh, go ahead and roll attacks. Oh my god, I can't get the... 
Okay, the first one hits. You strike hard into the uh, kneecap of this creature. <laughs> uh, and you see, you hear a, a crack and a pop of the uh, cap as you uh, slam your hammer into the side of it. Kneecap them. And the uh, second one strikes in the upper thigh as you uh, go ahead and roll damage. You you hear the uh, flesh quiver underneath your hammer as it strikes and a burst of radiant energy flashes out. And I'm concentrating. Okay. okay. Let's see, on this one's turn, it is going to... Move right here to the uh, to the wall, and uh, seeing Sazed down there, it is going to slam its <laughs> hand down. Misses. Uh, that is a twenty to hit. Ow. You take eleven bludgeoning damage and uh. are grappled. Oh no. And it is going to attempt to dunk you into its belly. Oh no! I would like to not. I need do a that. strength saving throw then. I'm not good at that. Plus five. So glad I. Oh uh, yes, yeah, yeah. plus five as you are still within range of Dresley. Oh, I so rolled an 18 I... minus one plus five. <laughs> Twenty-two. Okay, uh, you managed to. Get your arms out in time and press against the the lips of this disgusting boiling pot that is <laughs> part of its stomach. Uh, some of the acid or the boiling water does splash up on you, and you take uh, seven fire damage. But you manage oh, no. to keep yourself out of its stomach. Fire damage or acid damage? It is fire damage. Oh no! No, oh, interesting. That really hard. Uh, Tim. Or says it. I don't know which one's faster. I think it's. Or you can both act on the same t at the same time if you'd like. Combo attack. Do it. I would like to do a combo, but I am in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> you're in a bit of acid. Is where you're at. Um. <laughs> oh, shout out at the giant. Your grip is weak. My grandmother can hold. Tighter than you can, and use unsettling words. Okay. And I roll a D8. Ooh, he has to subtract six from his next saving throw. Okay. Ooh. And for that, I will carefully grab the caterpillar cocoon in that pouch, and I will polymorph him into a turtle. Okay. Saving throw. The wisdom, right? Yeah. Yep. Minus, Minus eight. Six. Minus six. Okay, that takes it to a fourteen. Yay. He fails. Um, as it turns into a small turtle, releasing you from its grip. Uh, you slowly oh. fall down to the ground as it uh, transforms. Question: What is that? That is a chimney. Is it larger than a turtle? It is uh, probably about twenty to thirty feet up. It's you know how sometimes chimneys just stand when the whole house is torn apart. Oh, I thought it led into the ground or something. All right, can I use my no, movement it's... to? Uh, I'll go over here near the turtle. I'm putting a green mark for a turtle. Is that where the turtle? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move up here then. Oh, I don't want to get too far from turtle. I'll go over here. Within grabbing range of turtle. Okay, where at? Right above them. If he's right there, I'll go okay, right up Just here. like right there. Yeah. yeah, it would shrink down to a very... A tiny, uh, tiny creature, yeah. and it would be a turtle. Okay, uh, Tim, what would you like to do? Um, I would. Did did I, I didn't miss a rest? I must have got like really fucked up last session. 
did but you, I'm... I, did you not take your rest last time? That's what I was thinking. That I maybe I didn't hit the button, but I don't, I don't think you don't did because you guys didn't up. have anything since your last rest. I had three spells used, so we did something. We did something on your way here, maybe? I think sending. You cast invisibility, yeah. or no? Did he do? Yeah, yeah invisibility and probably a couple sendings. Yeah, a couple sendings. So right, Tim I'm probably gonna... didn't take his long rest. Go ahead and get your hit points back, because I was I was thinking it was tracked on your side and just wasn't on mine. Yeah, because it was, yeah, no, that, it syncs up pretty nicely, so. I was worried okay. there for a second. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> uh, all right, so yeah, with that, I will. Oh, you know, I got all two spells. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to Eldritch Blast, this guy right in front of me. Okay. Yeah, this are hidden tonight, Jesus. Okay, uh, both of those hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh my god, I hit it three times. Sorry. Don't count the last 14. 22. Okay, both of these uh, blasts strike into him. Um, he's starting to look hurt as uh, he shakes under the force of this energy. Um, that's it. Okay, uh, Bon, you are up. Oh, fantastic. Ah, oh, I got the perfect tool for the job guys oh i'm gonna form my Voltron. shadow uh lovely knife into a roll of roll aids and i'm gonna throw it at him wow <laughs> okay <laughs> acid anti-acid i don't think that get nerds it. <laughs> no, go we ahead got and it. roll attacks as you we just we just all pretended collectively that you didn't say it i took second damage <laughs> <laughs> as you throw ye old roll <laughs> um that hits and it shakes from the strike uh one of its hands grasping at its head Uh, directs its eyes towards you after you hit it, Vaughn. Uh, what else would you like to do? Uh, scream like a little girl. <laughs> and Check. throw my other... My other little... Uh... Knife at him. Boop. Okay. Uh, it hits, and uh, it shudders again. Alright, I'm gonna flip it off and... Run away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and back up a couple of faces. <laughs> Where's my little... Don't want to draw. I think I'm gonna go right here, just, just a little bit, just, just a little bit. Use my uh, use my friends as human shields. All right, cool. Okay. You move around the other side of this uh, half wall. Yep. I, um, I'm gonna try to hide, but it's too late now. Turn. Yep, that's it. That's all I got. Okay. Um, on. This one's turn. It is going to slam a hand down towards you, Dresley. It's a 22 to hit. No hit. You take 13 bludgeoning damage and are grappled as it uh, attempts to slam you into its uh, the pot on its belly as well. I need a strength saving throw. Oh, no. All right, you said 13 HP, right? Yes, 13 bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Okay, you are slammed down into this boiling water um, in its stomach and are currently restrained. You take 20 fire damage as it pulls its hand out from its stomach. Mm. Oh, excuse me, sorry. 20. Okay. So that's 33. Is Flaming Sphere at the start of its turn? At the end of his turn. End of its turn. Okay. Yeah. He is going to take a big step over that wall, uh, moving forward, and end its turn. Uh -huh. Taking yeah. fire damage on a failed uh -huh. dexterity saving throw. That is a 12, sir. <laughs> then he takes 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. Nice. nice. Okay, you oh, see the uh, fire take climb up its... He What's should that? take one more, one more point of damage. I counted it wrong last time. Because it was something pl 8 plus the one upcast. 
Oh, okay, I got you. I took another one away. How do you want to do this? Uh, um, yes, that would explode. be two consec. That would be two concentration checks. Yes, uh, one for the slam, and then the other one for the the belly fire. The belly. Okay, you managed to succeed on the slam yeah, and on the uh, and on the boiling too. Told you, divine favors were my favorite spells. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, that ends its turn. Casimir, you are up. Um, seeing has Dresley just got dunked, I will have him like swing his arm out to the side and so then the flaming sphere moves 15 feet out and then he swings it back slamming it back into him okay for nine points of damage if he fails the dc it uh shifts to the side trying to dodge out of the way but it's too big of a target as you slam the sphere into its side and flames creep across it you see it's uh starts to develop a lot of burns around its side um it's looking it's starting to look rough uh not quite there but it's getting there hmm I will pull out a flask, pop it in my flask lock pistol, aim, and shoot him with a ray of sickness. For 23. Ooh, that hits. And this is like straight at his face. Okay. For two points of damage. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wait, way. why is there? Oh, is, what's the const? Oh, the Constitution save is if it fails, it it's poisoned. Right. Yeah. Shut. And it, as the beam is going out, it kind of splits, and it just kind of like speckles in both of his eyes for one point each. <laughs> okay. It uh. <laughs> two wipes. D eight. I rolled two ones. How the fuck does that even happen? Wipes the green liquid out of its eyes and uh, slaps it off to the ground. Um. Any, that end your turn? Uh, I want to move and hide behind this rock. Okay. Right around here. Yeah. Just right around here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You there. move around back behind the rock and yeah. uh, well, just enough that I can, just enough that I can still like peek over and see what's happening. Yeah, I got you. Okay, uh, Dresley, you were up. You are currently restrained in uh, in its belly. To escape would take um, an action uh, and uh, an athletics or a acrobatics check against, or a successful athletics or acrobatics check. So it's not something I can misty step from. You could also try that. Yes. You are restrained. You're not prevented from cool. spelling. Misty step has got to be like one of the coolest <laughs> spells. It is like the ultimate get out of jail free card, isn't it? I need to learn Misty stuff. Okay. Me too. How... How big is it? Like, would I be able to, like... Try to, like, Misty step to his shoulders so I could hit him in the head? <laughs> if you did, you would fall quite a distance. But you could do it. Back into his belly? Yeah, back into his belly. <laughs> um, it's somewhere between 15 and 20 feet tall, so to... Misty step up to its head, you'd probably fall 20 feet. Oh, damn. She can't land on Strike his shoulder. Yeah, that, I was going to see if I can. I don't you know what? That. If you'd like to try, you can give me, I would say, an acrobatics check. If you'd like to try to not fall or at least find a way to fall down from it slowly. <laughs> I will accept that. Okay, I'm going to misty step to its shoulder and kind of, like, grab onto whatever hair or anything it has on its head to <laughs> kind of brace myself. You said athletics? Yes, athletics. Okay, okay, you 
teleport out from its uh, stomach, grabbing onto these disgusting, uh, dirty strands of hair. Uh, what would you like to do as you <laughs> seem to be maintaining a hold currently? What? That was a bonus action, and would that have been an action to like brace myself, or could I still attack? No, you still have an action. I'm taking my strings out of them. A 14 does not hit. It swings its uh, face to the side, causing you to lose uh, your your uh, direction of your war hammer, and it passes just below its ear. Okay, try to get a better grip and attempt it again. Okay, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. I am using two charges of my glows for a second level divine smite. Okay. As the blast strikes into it, you see uh, radiant energy course through its jaw, sending uh, light out through its mouth as some of the teeth fly off against the rock which Casimir is hiding behind. Um, you feel its hair uh, rip out as you uh, grasp towards the clothing, uh, the remnants of clothing that drape this creature and slowly descend, uh, landing on the ground behind it. Still have movement, or would you like to stay there? No, I'll stay here. Okay. Um, on this one's turn, the turtle is going to take a bite attack out towards you, says it, with its small little chompy <laughs> mouth, and you lift your foot up, dodging out of the way. It looks up at you angrily. That and turtle. then. Then you see flames wash over its back from the flaming sphere. Oh no! <laughs> um, go ahead and roll. Well, you don't no. need to roll damage. It's a turtle. Son he watches it. its uh, size <laughs> greatly uh, enlarges enlarges around you. Give me a. Give me an acrobatics or athletics check. I have such as you, plans for that turtle. As you attempt to move out of its space without being forcefully pushed. In my defense, I had the sphere up first. 16. Yes, but you also moved it back. 16. Okay, yes. You're easily able to uh, move out of the way as it grows in size. He still and takes the additional looks... splash over damage, right? So if I rolled 10 damage, he takes at least 9 of it? Maybe. Yes, any fight. excess damage carries over to its form. Thank you. I rolled 10 damage. Okay. Um, as you move out of the way, its gigantic form lumbers over you, looking down quite angrily. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, it is now your turn, though. Like or, uh, or Thames, or both of you. Tem? Health? I can't even see that one. So, I'm just going to shoot the one in front of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... Um, you are within five feet of it. It would be a disadvantage if you make an Eldritch Blast. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me hit him like Glaive then. Okay. Uh, uh, that hits. Roll damage. Remember when he walked okay, in as your... I get two. Do I need uh, as your Glaive cuts into... Uh, its uh, heel, you watch the ankle separate, and it falls to the side. Some of its uh, boiling water splashes up into its face, and it screams as it falls down to the ground, crushing the wall like? behind it. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, crushing that wall. Uh, oh, crushing all that wall too. All right, yes. all right. Fuck yeah. That guy are any, are any of the near, are any of the nearby scarecrows reacting to our fight? There's, There's still one so shrieking off in the distance. Okay. 
Uh, I used my second attack to hit him. Oh, uh, wait, wait can for I... that. Yeah, I can do that. So I think it's my uh, other attack that I can do. Polar Master. Okay, that hits. Uh, As it cuts into uh, the meat of its back, uh, or its right calf, you see a gross black blood pour out onto the ground. All right, that is the end of my turn. Okay, so you said, what would you like to do? I will say, oh no, my cuddle's gone. I'm not upset, I'm just a little shell-shocked. And I'll cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter. And awkwardly, I took psychic damage. <laughs> it it looks down at you, its face angry uh -oh. at you turning it into a small figure, and then it starts to chuckle. Uh, uh, I got the joke. <laughs> <laughs> and it falls to the ground laughing. I would like to run away. Coward? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Okay, which way would you like to run? Uh, behind Kashmir. <clears throat> okay, you move off to the rock and see Kashmir huddled here. Yeah, one more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is he not um, that small? <laughs> Vaughn, you were up. Oh boy, here we go again. Um, let's see, uh, if I was to throw my knife at the guy close to me is that gonna be a disadvantage because of how close yes yeah. but you could just stab him he is on the ground he uh, you'd have oh advantage so... yeah you don't <laughs> have to throw that oh yeah like incapacitated isn't that's not crit is it is it crit uh, i think so right if it's Let's i check. think so Un like if it can't defend itself in any way shape or form nope not crit oh wait no just can't take actions or reaction let me check yeah. my oh, okay well, I think it's only crit every time. But it is prone, so you would have advantage on a melee attack against it. Yep. And let's see what happens. Okay, uh, you stab <laughs> your, <laughs> your, your your psychic dagger into him, uh, not quite getting anywhere near the Holy impact shit. you would expect. So who wins it? This this is why I throw the knife. I don't stab. <laughs> I'm gonna reach over he gets a behind my back. Advantage. What's yes. that? I know. I'm. Uh, okay. I'm gonna make it after he makes his attack <laughs> or does his turn. <laughs> I'm gonna stab with my. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make this one into a spoon and poke it into his eye. Oh my god! Okay, he's, he's on the gone. ground. He can't do anything. Go ahead and roll it. Uh, another attack on turtle soup. soup. But, um, um, as your dagger. Uh, strikes into its eye uh, what it's still laughing and then your dagger strikes home its face suddenly gets very serious <laughs> oh, no. its other eye looking directly at you the one you just stabbed closing from the pain <laughs> I'm gonna get the fuck out of there I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... go I don't know how well this... How much of this wall is still left? It is like, mostly crumbled down. It is hardly any stones left. Use my use my friends as human shields. Oh, my God. Okay, as you begin to move away from it, it is going to try to grasp out its hand towards you. Oh, wow, 24 to hit. Oof. Uh, yeah, that definitely hits. You take 12 bludgeoning damage, and you are unable to move away from it. Was that a disadvantage? As it grabs, yes. As it grabs you in its hand. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Bye, Bong. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, Casimir. You are up. Um... I would like to... Poke my head up around the top way. I'll just move on myself. Uh, from right here. Oh, I see the dude. All right. You see it uh, laying on the ground, some of its boiling water splashing down, uh, its hand outstretched holding on the bond. I'm screaming like a little girl. 
I will, a man lady girl. I will move my sphere out a little bit and then slam it back into the back of him. Okay. Or potential 13 points of fire damage. Unable to uh, roll out of the way with its large form, it is struck in, uh, instantly in its side. You see flames crawl across it. It's starting to look like it's damaged. And then I will take out my pistol, and I will try to aim at the wrist of the hand that's holding Bond and just take a shot. For 17. 17 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Seven points of piercing damage. It roars angrily as you watch the uh, the uh, blast of energy shoot through the other or through its wrist. Uh, still so clutching on to Bon though. Uh, does that end your turn, or would you like to? Uh... Move? You still have fifteen feet of movement. Eh, I can see. I want to be able to see what's going on. I'll stay there. But I'll okay. kind of like hug the rock a little more. Half cover. Okay. Oh, you definitely yeah. feel close to this rock that you would probably have full cover. It's quite a large. Um, Drizzly, you are up. Is it still prone? Yes, it is still prone. Right, I'm gonna go up to him. And prone means advantage, right? Yes. Wouldn't have I had disadvantage since he's on the ground? Yes. Oh, you would have. Roll another one for me. <coughs> uh, that hits Stressly. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> I do this to myself on purpose. <laughs> So uh, I aim for the wrist, move for... and I hit Bond instead. No, that's the no. Weapon. You aim for the wrist, and uh, your weapon jams. Um, you're probably not going to be able to shoot it next turn. Um, that is 17. I wanted to shoot Bond. <laughs> Sorry, the dice rolled that way. No, he gets his seven hit. Uh, wow. That hits. Go ahead and roll uh, damage on the second attack. Okay, uh, you slam into this large fleshy figure laying on the ground, uh, blasts of radiant energy uh, flashing off of it. Um, on its turn, it is going to... Oh wait, did you want to do anything else? Sorry. No, that's all. Okay. Um, on its turn, it is going to stand up. Uh, as it begins to stand up, it's going to attempt to force you into its uh, belly. There, Bon, I need a strength saving throw. Oh, no. Can it be like dexterity? <laughs> oh, you oh, are it's... forced down beneath the water uh, and take 13 fire damage. Why is it spicy? Spicy water. Um... Wait, it's water? Uh, it is boiling hot water. It didn't all spill out when he fell prone laughing? Seems <laughs> to not, no. God Some damn. kind of magic, I guess. Oh, sorry. Well, um, it's going to uh, turn 13 fire damage. It's 13. I'm using the uh, little counter that does one. Oh, okay, I got you. Right. Is that on? Can he dodge? Oh, actually, I can I do that when I'm. Is it's that what that damage. is? That is what that is. Uncanny's all damage. Yeah. And, well, Wait, oh, did you, use... did you uh... use that? Hold on, uh, fifth level. No, I did not. Okay. I should have probably no, done you didn't that use before, it. but uh, I can. Oh yeah, so I can use it uh, on this. So you would know. take uh, seven fire damage. <laughs> right? I don't yeah, remember what the original was. 13. Yeah. Yeah. That oh, then six. Wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Six. Oh, no. I just. just... 
Yeah, it doesn't specify whether it's rounded up or rounded down, so it's just assumed rounded down. Six fire damage. Um, and it is going to uh, turn down towards you, Dresley, and reach out with its hand. Ooh, that is a natural 20. Ooh. We're all going swimming. It's spicy. You take... <sighs> Sorry. 24 bludgeoning damage? And are grappled. Okay. And it is going to move 20 feet this way. Wait, now I've lost my spot. Four. Uh, with its quarry in tow. Do I get to hit it? You lose concentration, Dresley, as uh, as the hand grasps around you. The magic fades from your weapon. Um, it is moving out of your range. Yes, you would get Wait, a... Wait, uh, lost concentration? Yeah, she rolled a 19 against 24 damage. Yeah, it's half damage. It's half, half damage, damage or 10, whichever's higher. My bad. Then you maintain concentration. My apologies. Oh. I was gonna say, man, if you're losing concentration on 19, you got hit hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Um, your glaive cuts into it. Uh, another streak of black blood sprays out from it as it uh, continues on its way. Um, so you said you're up. How? Question, where is the Nightmare? What do you mean, where is the Nightmare? Because I wrote it here. Maybe I see some of it. Never mind, I see some of it. You left it by the wagon. Hmm. Is it by the wagon? I'm going to assume it's by the wagon, though. Yes, it would probably be by the wagon, unless... Yeah, because you didn't specify you were on summoning it or anything, so... Oh, that's really far away, though. Can I see Bon? Do I see him in uh, the thing? You, you cannot see him. Oh. He is in the belly. Boom. Boom. Beneath the water. Well, I will let Ken go first. I will... Eldritch Blast. Okay. Go ahead and roll uh, attack. Uh, the first one... Uh, Hits the ground just below its feet, splashing up swampy water. Mm -hmm. The second one strikes into uh, its large, rotundus backside. Go ahead and roll if damage. If he falls on Bond, is that going to hurt him? That's probably going to do So one way to find out. That is weird. Oh, that's a glaive attack. It? It's the same, though. It doesn't matter. Hey, okay, yeah, this one beats one. plus five, so it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are both exactly the same. One just has range. Okay, uh, the beam strikes into it, and you see it uh, strike or see it shake it a little bit, but it continues trudging away. Anything else with your turn? Uh, oh, fuck. You know what I should have done? Uh, not quite. Bonus not quite action here. telekinetic shove. I don't know if I can shove him over, like push his legs or something. Um, can you link that for me? It's yep. probably too big. No, I think it's. Yeah. It... Uh, it, it just says, does it, it just say the size? Creature. Well, you no, can't, it doesn't you say can't shove a creature one. higher, too higher than you. Uh oh. Just really Tell the show one creature you can see when you do so. That's one creature. Yeah, it says make a shove. You're making a shove attack though. And... Well, it doesn't oh. specifically say you're making yeah. a shove attack. It right. says as the bonus action, you try to telekinetically shove one creature. So it's not a shove attack. It's 
I so. would say that you can see. Okay, uh, you try to force this uh, figure. Where, where are you trying to force it? Um, I can only move it. I can move it towards me. So I can move five feet towards me. So I would just try and move it okay. towards me. But I'm trying to trip it, really. So I don't really care if it goes forward or backwards as long as it falls over. Okay. Uh, as you reach out and try to move this massive creature, you feel its muscles strain against your uh, abilities pushing through them and unable to, uh, you're unable to move it. Okay. That's fine. It's a stretch anyways. Okay. Save it. Ah, up. move a little bit up. Eh, fuck it. Wait. I don't want to be that close to him. <laughs> ah, fuck it. I'll move a little bit further up. And away. Oh, wait. Is that in range? No, okay. that is not in range. I'll stay there then. Okay. I will pull out a pinch of powdered iron and throw it in the air, and I will cast Enlarge on Dresley. Okay. A little bit of extra damage, but also advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Oh, sweet. Okay, as Dresley grows in uh, this figure's hand, it continues to hold it or hold her uh, while she expands, its hand looking much smaller against her larger form. I am concentrating. And then can I pull out my viol and play her a nice inspirational tune? Because I didn't get a chance to write anything down. Okay. Uh, Drizzly, you feel inspired by Sazed's, uh, musical styling. Ooh, should I roll performance? How's all that? <laughs> um, Bon, it is, uh, your turn. Here, underneath this f boiling water, um, I need, you either need a athletics or acrobatics check in order to move out of its stomach, and it requires an action. Okay, Acro acrobatics. Big money, don't fail me now. Okay, uh, you uh, swim your way to the surface of this water and kick your feet up over the edge, fold the rest of your body outside of uh, it. Where would you like to land next to it? Uh, let's see. Uh, like it's right here. Where would you like to, me to put you? Let's just within five. Yeah. I like. To, I like that. We because isn't he moving forwards? Well, he's yeah, he was way. moving that way. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna okay, you <laughs> slip out of its belly and roll down between its legs, out from behind it. Okay. <sighs> you have a bonus, bonus action and movement left. I'm gonna bonus action hide. Bonus okay. action hide. Yep, I'm gonna tuck and roll behind something. That's that's okay. Um, you're currently sitting in about knee deep water. Shit. Uh, uh, hide uh, under the water. <laughs> you can try Rogues to hide under the water if you'd like. Master, I'm the master of stealth. I would love to hide underneath water. Take okay, give me a stealth check. As you take a deep breath and sl try to slide silently under the water. <laughs> little cr like a crocodile. Ooh. <laughs> and like a crocodile, which, as you think of it, you remember seeing one of these bite the head <laughs> off of one or, or oh, no. only moments ago when you were in the swamps. You try to block that out of your mind as you <laughs> close your eyes going under the water. I'm filled with terrible mistakes today. Couple Ooh, bubbles nice it up and it's silent. <laughs> um, Casimir, you are up. Dressly, you're next. All right. First things first, I would like to slide my fireball 30 feet into this dude's foot. And then that will be based on his ability to outroll my 17. Six points of fire damage. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, he nimbly lifts his <laughs> foot up in the air and it slides underneath it. Is it half damage? Uh, Most saves are for that low really damage, sexy. though. I doubt it. Flaming sphere, uh, cre or half as much damage on mm. a successful one. So yeah, yeah, so he takes three points of damage, fire damage. So it probably is and all non cantrips. Yeah, I think it is all non cantrips. Um, you watch it graze the bottom of its foot. Uh, burning the skin just a little bit as it passes underneath and sets its foot back down. And then you see it slowly fade away as Kazmir grabs a uh, another potion <laughs> and then he's going to run or hobble 20 feet this way and he's going to chuck a paste potion at Dresley. <laughs> okay. We're just going to make her a fucking beast. <laughs> so she gets a plus two to her AC. Her speed is doubled and she gets a bonus uh, action of each turn that can be used either to attack with one weapon attack only, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. Okay. As this uh, flask shatters across your skin and you feel the potion start to seep into you, Dresley energizing you. Uh... It's now your turn. What would you like to do? Three concentration spells all going to one person. <laughs> uh, you oh, are yeah, currently I'm still Dresley. being grappled as well. <laughs> oh. Can you attack while grappled? Yes. Uh, you do not have disadvantage on the attack. It's uh, just a normal attack. You just can't move. Okay, can't move. Yeah, your movement speed is zero unless you release. That's doubled, so you got double zero. <laughs> double zero. Okay, let's see. Okay, I have this set up. Alright, so with haste, I get pretty much like one extra strength. An extra armor, action. Right? Yeah, one yeah, more but, weapon attack. But you can only attack once. You don't get your double attack. Or you can do something else, other action that you can do with it. Okay, so. I am. I'm just going to start hitting him with my war, which is the golden side. <laughs> okay. I'm way heavier. Uh, extra d4 damage from enlarge. Plus yeah, I have it. Plus, oh, okay. plus your radiant damage. Oh no! Um, <laughs> plus advantage because something. Uh, as you swing out your warhammer, not accustomed to your larger size, it strikes into the side of its stomach, splashing up some of the hot water over you, and you take seven fire damage. Wait, eight fire damage. Wait, hold on. No, seven. Seven fire damage. <laughs> no, wait. wait seven wait. fire damage as it splashes onto you. Okay. So. This one. Uh, your second attack does not hit either. It strikes, but it just doesn't seem to have the force as these fingers still grasp around you. Try to get the water out of my face and I'm <laughs> so burning you're just not things. used to it. <laughs> no. But you're much, but you're much oh, better. No! <laughs> Our ultimate weapon is failing. <laughs> as you go out to swing and as you go out to swing a third time, uh, the fingers <laughs> grasp your elbows up against your ribs uh, restricting your movement and preventing you from reaching this uh, creature with your warhammer still have a bonus action <clears throat> no um that'll be it I need a concentration for the water that's splashed up on me. Right? Uh, yes. Okay, you're able to maintain concentration. 
Um, that end your turn then? Yeah. Okay, it is going to uh, look at you uh, in its hand much larger than you were moments ago, and it is going to uh, loosen its grip a little bit, letting you drop some. It grabs the back of your head and tries to force your face into the pot. Give me a strength saving throw. With I advantage. Which I have advantage on. Okay. Yeah. Because you're so fast. No, because she's so big. Yes, because she's so big. Uh, you also fast. place You <laughs> place your hands out in front of you just in time, preventing it, uh, your face from being dunked under. Uh, but take... Eight fire damage as uh, some of the water splashes up across your face. It is unable to force you into its uh, stomach. It is going to angrily punch you with its other hand. Oh my god. Ooh, you have a plus two to your AC. Because you're big. That is a, that is a 19 to hit. That would miss. Yay! Okay. Because you managed to raise your shield up in between you, uh, blocking it. Uh, Sazed and Tem, you are up. Oh shit, I didn't think I'd be up this way. Alright, cheer Tem on. Yeah, I'm gonna move up uh, as far as I can, I guess. Well, maybe not that quite that far. I'm gonna move up here, I'm gonna just make sure he doesn't get away. Or not super right far here? away from me. Yeah. And so then... This guy doesn't have to run. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's lumbering along. And now I'm gonna... Hamstring him with my glaive. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll an attack for me. Ooh, that bad. just yeah. hits. Hell yeah. Another one. Another one. Oh, natural 20. So that would be 18 damage. Plus 10. Yep, 28 total. Okay, uh, as you slice quickly twice with your glaive into the, the back calf of this creature, um, it uh, falls to one knee, uh, buckling un from the pain. It's it's looking like it's barely hanging on still. As oh. he opens those wounds, I'll throw two cards into him. Okay. Still polar messers. No, I want the kill. <laughs> <laughs> I steal the kill. Oh, fuck. Oh, plus nine. Twenty. Twenty hit. That hits. Nice. That's a four of hearts for... Piercing and fire. The red one will be fire. Ooh, one and four. Fire. Four fire. One piercing. Okay, you see flames, uh... or streak across the wound, um... Still continues to breathe though. Damn it. Second card. Natural 20! Okay. That's 10 of clubs for Bludgeoning and Thunder. Okay, Bludgeoning and Thunder. Uh, how would you like to do this, yeah. Tem and Sazid? And Casimir? I like. Because <laughs> he's fat. <laughs> no. I pictured. Tem slicing both of his uh, hamstrings open, and then I threw the two cards into each one, and they both explode on him. Okay. Yeah. Sending fire and thunder off his body. Tem cuts across at the back of both legs. Two cards enter into either side. One erupts out with flames, and the other one, a uh, sound wave shocks the muscle and bone loose, spraying the water on top of uh, Bon where he hides underneath. The creature's grip re er, releases Dresley as it falls to the ground. <laughs> Spicy! <laughs> <laughs> I always forget thunder is not lightning. Thunder damage is like, yeah, shock damage. And then Casimir gets his gun fixed and shoots it in the face. <laughs> yeah, thunder is sound. Yeah. In the Mordia, we double tap. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I push him into the water. You're not even near me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm fast. 
Um, as the creature falls, you hear the still shrieking scarecrow oh, shit. on the southern end of the ruins and the stomping of more heavy footfalls, as well as other uh, sounds amongst the woods, uh, okay. some you are not quite familiar with. Are we you on our the, way? You see that uh, large for or the the shifting of the trees off in the distance now seems to be moving steadily around the swamp in your direction. Still very far off, but it does seem to be shifting the trees as it moves that way. Can I whistle for the nightmare? Okay. Uh, you uh, let out a long whistle, uh, thinking in your mind that you're, or focusing in your mind that you're calling for it. You feel a mental connection through the spurs, and you hear it coming towards you. Gets there down. fairly quick. Oh yeah, 90 fly speed. Um, I'm gonna peek oh, up out of the water. <laughs> I forgot you were in there. Oh my god, it's crocodile. Like a, like a little crocodile. Um, um, guys, pretty fucked up right now. Uh, that house. Unless we have something to set it on fire, we are going to get killed by that house. We need to get out of here and regroup. We need to kill what's in that house. I'll run over the barn and you quickly, die way before that thing. Quickly we get triage it. medicine box him. How long does haste last? Uh, one minute. Sixty seconds. <laughs> and same, then you're stunned. The large. <laughs> and then you, and then you're then you're stunned for six seconds afterwards. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I patched Bob up. Uh, How much? Oh, that's a bad roll. You take six oh. plus your level in healing. Sixteen. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna try that thing. So I definitely did something wrong. So if I want to plus. Just type plus one six. Is there anything you wanted to try to do with the last, like, 40 seconds of your bigness <laughs> your quickie uh, your your quickie your big. fast bigness <laughs> so you can actually do quite a i mean you do have a little bit of economy there action economy um i'm trying to get all the boiling water out of my eyes i'm wondering how red they are can i look around and see if i can use my size and stuff to see if I can, like, locate where like she might be. With, with the strength thing, too, you probably jump super high. Or where something might be in these rooms. <laughs> um, you know what? If you would like to attempt to jump up over the treetops a little bit with your uh, larger size, um, you could give me a perception check with advantage, but it would put your head up over the treetops. Oh, why do you say it like that? Because she, there's would, she would know. Uh, Green ones. I don't know if we know that part. Yeah, you saw... Okay, uh, so you are... I'm assuming that was with advantage, so... Yeah. Uh, you jump up into the air. Uh, you see several of uh, those green ravens flying through the trees. Uh, but beyond those, you see um, probably, I would say, around 300 feet around the uh, side of the ruins, making its way quite quickly uh, in your direction. Um, the ravens do not seem to have noticed your head popping up, though, as you fall back down. Oh, were those the ones that blew up on us at the winery? The ones that oh, poisoned us. That was the scarecrow. Oh, it? they poisoned us. Okay. Oh, those things suck. Should we go? Maybe we grew up in the forest or something. Are 
All right, and you yes. said I saw something coming towards us, and then just the ravens flying around? Yes. Did not see anything else uh, close to you currently when you uh, were looking around. Uh, you did see other figures, but they are further off, and they don't seem to have a specific direction they're going, um, other than some of them that look like they're moving towards that sound. Uh, Vine-like creatures moving towards the screeching scarecrow towards the southern end of the ruins. Okay. I guess I'll start to tell them what I saw and then get stunned. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as you, as you shrink <laughs> down telling them of what you had seen. Guys, are oh, sleepy. Oh, I was gonna say, now she's looking all weird. <laughs> yeah, her token's strange like that. That's what happens when you grow a train too fast. <laughs> Works your Alice. body a little. <laughs> uh, we should definitely start heading towards the towards the house, right? Slowly, maybe. We don't have to move super fast. I don't want to be seen. Isn't it coming towards us? Uh, yeah. She just said it's coming directly towards us. It knows exactly oh. where we are. We need to vacate the area now. That mm. the the tree. Trunk alone will squish you. Bob, why does it sound like you're eating something? Fly. What's that? Why does it sound like you're eating something? I'm, I'm eating something? Can I cast uh, healing word on myself? Yes, While we're yes. having this, this discussion? I have a bit of chips. To Ooh, he says, Bob, cool. why are you eating something? And he laces something <laughs> with a healing work. <laughs> I would definitely lace eating, I feel like. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just, uh, nine probably all healing. that acid and or <laughs> blood. <laughs> it's just my face. Uh, we need to yeah. find his sister. Oh, shit. I just was... Should we just hide in the forest for a bit? So wait, wait, down? uh... Actually, hold on. If I'm not mistaken, I the sister. I mean, how many how many people were out here that were looking? Because I saw, I mean, a bunch of limbs in the house. But didn't I see like three up? Like a was it a basket of heads? There was a basket uh, covered with a cloth. You did not see what it was. Uh, it was near a shrine that had a uh, a lot of uh, arcane oh. uh, elements that you're not very familiar with um oh no shit it was outside the house there was um i saw was it two chop marks on that log oh yes okay. you did see the uh the a log with uh three uh heavy indentions and blood stains on it looked like uh it was from an axe or yeah. some other bladed weapon like it probably nothing I worry oh about it. no no I, I is there like I... a how far away is the forest or somewhere we could like take cover away from scarecrows or is there anywhere nearby we could duck in um the swampland stretches out for quite a good bit you can recall from your travel down here um to get completely out of the swamp would be uh hmm. quite quite a travel especially on foot for those that are Well, you guys want to make your way towards the house? I'll try to get the raven's attention. I mean... Where'd you see the block with the... Right outside the... Sonic. Yeah, right outside the house, I saw a tree where it... There was three good chop marks, indentations, with blood spinning. I'm pretty sure she's she lopped off three people's heads on that tree. There was a lot of blood. It could didn't have been we, the... Didn't we get two raven people's heads? And we're also here to look for a... You sure it was three? Positive. Without a doubt, there was three distinct chopping, like 
three axe marks in a tree with a bunch of blood. Maybe one uh, took too many. Well, maybe one took <laughs> two. I don't. <clears throat> I don't think it was a sister because she just there did was... magic to find her. Did she not? Yeah, I mean yeah, that's did. true. And there was three were ravens missing. Oh, there was three were ravens missing. Okay. I, swore, I, I could have swore Boba said two. I thought there was two yeah. axe marks. There were three. axe mark. Oh, okay. There were three. There were, there were three. Yeah, I had, I, I had made sure to specify three. I missed her, and I thought Bon was just crazy. It's okay. No, I mean I am, but not about there's the. Also, uh, there's also no telling who else she might have out here. That's true. I mean, there was her her hut was a thing of a nightmares. There's body parts everywhere. Well, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did I mention the? Tr did I mention the tree is an angry, angry person? Well, as you were, as you were having can... this conversation, you can see the trees from the direction Dresley had pointed earlier, uh, shifting as it as a large figure continues to move through them uh, towards your group. Yeah, All right, we need to talk about the legality of unclaimed flesh rights. Um, well, we'll start moving up. You guys make your way. I'll meet you there. Godspeed. You want me to go with you? No. We still got a psychic link for like hours, so we're, we're good. As long as you stay within an, a mile of us, we'll, we'll be really stretched. I'll get to the attention of those birds flying away. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And I'll hand him an experimental. Are you this? <laughs> <laughs> he points to himself. No, I did it before you left. <laughs> okay. The birds just seem to be flying around. I don't think they saw me. I'll take the weird potion. Okay. Yeah, you will. What's the potion do? Well, I'll be a bit of a distraction for you. I'll meet you down there. Let me know if anything goes it. crazy. <laughs> Bon. Will do. Uh, put that. So w what's what's our quick plan of attack? I want to hide. You can all hide. The... I fly up into the air. Okay, it stays it flies up into the air. Uh, on his nightmare, what are the rest of you planning to do? I am going I to stick use... near Dresley. I'm going Jeez. to use twenty points of lay on hands on myself. Okay. Oh, you can have one of these. And I'll hand her a potion too. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I'll take that potion. <laughs> Are you what? handling handing her an? Ex oh, handing. Okay. Oh, she's in wrong potion. Take, take uh, nine points of healing. Did I cast ray of sickness? Okay, yeah. Okay, so I have two spell slots left now. You can have that if you want. If you need it. Oh, I can't move it now. I gave her. F Nine healing. Yeah, but it's, uh, Bon is dying. Oh. So, yeah. uh, I still can't see Bon. He's still invisible to me. Because I am. Drink your potions. Of the shadow. Uh, wait, what? I said I hit take, but where does that actually go? You have. It it's it's the little deal. potion bottle oh. of your uh, name there. I have two of these fucking. Oh, I'm a jack off. Anyhow. Well, now you have two. He just gave you one. Two D. Plus two, two charges. It's a two D four plus four uh, plus two. two for that one. Yeah, two D four plus two. So that would be seven points of healing. That's a good uh, plus two, which is nine nine healing from yep. one potion. That's a That's really good potion. potion. Now give me that potion. <laughs> give me. Mine? 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 You have mine. to allow me to steal it. I said it's mine. As I fly no. up, I'll have the nightmare kind of unleash a terrible nightmare screech or howl to get the attention of everyone. So okay. Uh, as do, you do, do horses howl, as you streak scared. off into the air, um, this terrifying shriek uh, that chills you to your core, even though you're riding on top of it, uh, looses from its throat 
and you see the uh, green glowing birds that were flying amongst the tree branches a little bit further away and now all start swooping towards you. Oh my god. Uh, you also see the large house shift a little bit in its direction. And now that you are over the treetops towards you. I fly away. Outpacing the birds. Which I assume I, I can do. I fly away. Because it opens up the sky. You see uh, one of the roots from the tree reach down into the swamp. A large rock comes up, gripped in its uh, tendril-like -like appendage. And it launches it through the air, oh falling just short of you. <laughs> it slams, <laughs> slams into a tree nearby, knocking it to the ground uh, as you climb further up into the air. I did not see that coming. Well, I mean, luckily you did. You see Sazed flying up into the air and these uh, glowing birds flying towards him. And then a rock sails just below the hooves of the nightmare, slamming into a tree nearby. What are you Sail. all doing? We uh, should run to the house uh, while it's distracted. Can we... That's the house that's go. still heading our way and it's throwing massive rocks? <laughs> that, that, that house. I just want to clarify. Yes, that house. Yes, we are going to that house. I you are going to die. You're leading okay, the charge. The four of you start moving towards the house as uh, Sazed flies off on his nightmare, uh, distracting I, the birds. I assume this is out. noisy enough that we can just go, right? We can just, like, run. I think it's making a bunch of noise. There's uh, quite a lot of noise from the birds and uh, from the house stomping, as you can hear it starting to close in. And the scarecrow. And the scarecrow. And is the screaming. scarecrow is screeching. It's uh, quite a bit away, but it does echo through the swamps. Sounds. Uh, like you also Alberta. hear hear a lot of other noise uh, from the southern side of the ruins, not far from the scarecrow. It sounds like a lot of uh, stomping and crushing, and just uh, it's kind of a mess of noise. Hard to make out different details. So there's quite a lot going on. Yes. Hmm. Okay. I will pick. Well, I'll pick up. Uh, what's his name first? Casimir. Yeah. Pick up Casimir first. <laughs> just, by his, just by his leg and just drag him behind me. No. <laughs> he's yeah, he's, bad luck. he's gonna drown his face in water. <laughs> I'll pick I, uh, up Casimir and, and carry I him. I hit him with. with me too. I hit him with my club. If he grabs me by my leg. <laughs> so are you all just moving at uh at a normal. Or a quick pace, rather, towards the uh, the hut. Uh, apparently, uh, quick, uh, okay. hastily. I'm, I just want to make sure he's in the lead. I will be in the lead. <laughs> Bond does not with, want to go uh, first. Uh, apparently, with Casimir, like he's probably holding Casimir out with both hands. You are way uh, stronger than him. <laughs> you, I am way stronger than him. <laughs> But I just let it happen. I like being carried. I didn't, I didn't know I liked it until you first grabbed me, and I'm just like, like having a hunchback in me. Having a hunchback, it's like it's such a pain to walk that I'm okay with it. I'm not very tanky right now, so that's my ring's not gonna help. Um, yeah, I'll just go. I'm just going. Okay. Just hastily going. Tim. Yes. Do you still have that flask on you? Uh, flask? Sorry? The ones we got from the Walker Brothers. The one I told you to hang on to. Uh, probably. Yes, he still has that for warding you, bond. You need a flask? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, okay, so it wasn't like a, not a potion or something. Yeah, it's No, it was just bond. like a, okay. yeah. I'm going to take it and put it next to... The one I kept, and I will cast Warding Bond. Okay. How uh, how long does that last? And uh, can you link it? We'll just link it. Yeah. Okay. One hour. Oh, nice. That's not even concentration. 
if she's casting that on Bon and Bon or, and Bon is holding or not Bon but Tem and Tem is holding me, do I also get the benefits? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. You have plus one bonus to AC and saving throws and resistance to all damage. Tem, can you link it? Yeah. Well, you did she, link she, it. She yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add it as an item to my inventory. I didn't know I could do this. So just, okay. I'll remember forever. Um. All right. I guess we can roll out. Okay. Um, as you trudge through the swamps towards it, uh, Sazed flying, outpacing these uh, birds quite easily. Nice. All right. Tressley Splash <laughs> for wording. <laughs> nice. It's a good name. One. It's number one. I don't. So. I don't know why it's a one, but. Oh, it's because I have quantity one. Alright, we'll fix that. Surprised it wouldn't say Dresley Slash for awarding Bond on Tam. I mean, we can do that. On the second Sunday of the third month of the fourth year. Sorry, I'm having trouble with something. Let me fix it real quick. Apology accepted. I like to imagine he's just beating his children. <laughs> oh my god. I don't like that you imagine that. I work with children. I imagine beating children often. <laughs> it's, it's the only way I can get through my day. Oh my god. <laughs> Why not a spear? <laughs> That spear is going to come in handy, or it's going to be very handy. Next time you attack a tree and your blade breaks, you can just grab that spear. Huck it at it. Okay, um, as you travel through these, or through the swamps, you see a couple of the giant-like figures moving in the direction that says it had flown off. Um, he's no longer in your view through the treetops you can see glimpses of the flock of birds that continues to chase him away from you um and about just a little under 200 feet away from the uh large hut which was moving in the direction of Sazed, it stops oh. puts its roots down into the ground then it raises up again, and you see it shift and turn in your directions. You hear a voice come from outside. We have visitors. I need all for all of you to roll for initiative. Oh no! I see that you as far well, away. Is that before uh, break or after break? You know what, actually? Don't roll for initiative yet. We are going to take a break. Yay! Thank you. So, uh, did you move an eye here, says it? No. Okay, you can put one on so you can see it. Where at? Um, onto the map. Just, uh, up here. Um, I don't know if... I stand by my statement that Casimir should have lived says it. Probably less dangerous being the decoy right now. Okay. <laughs> so we, uh, as we come back, uh, everyone roll for initiative, please. That's not right. Hold uh, fuck. Casper's oh, a passive. negative. Passivist. How's this possible? Oh, yeah. Should I click the oh. I? Or, uh, I really want to know about these. The killer dog. No, so, uh, roll roll so. initiative for yourself. Yeah, I can't add it to the turn tractor. But... Oh, okay, I'll add it. Oh my God, I'm trying. It's not working. Mm, what am I doing? Hit the button. There we go. I'll uh, add it as the yeah, that's what until, <laughs> until you're here. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Well, I I mean, if you'd have clicked it and then like clicked initiative, I don't know how that would have worked. It might have worked. 
I don't know. Is everyone on here? Hold on. Not everyone's on here. Fabulous saga. Ooh, we see her roll. Yeah. I can't stop that right now. I have to figure out how to make that macro a whisper, but ah. it's okay. It also doesn't matter. Um, Casimir, you were up first. Uh, what would you like to do in reaction to this uh, voice coming out from the hut and it turning in your direction? I will uh, shrug out of Tem's arms easily because I'm super buff. <laughs> and I will grab a potion out of my pocket and I will drink it and I will alter myself to be uh tall or my back will be straighter uh my hair looks a little nicer my arms are a little bigger all right chad no like gorilla kind of oh <laughs> like they kind of like hunch forward a little bit and then uh i will uh pull out my pistol and get ready to fight okay and that is concentration up to one hour. I just thought you were trying to make yourself look okay. Um, that end your turn then? Well, yes. Other than the arms, that's he just when he uses his, the ultra self potion, he just looks like how he used to look. Oh, he was, okay. He was he was quite dashing. So ultra self is a bonus action, or is or were you actually uh, readying an action, or no? I uh, I think ultra self is an action. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I didn't know if because you said you were grabbing your pistol, I didn't know if you were. Saying oh you were yeah. Ready. Oh no, okay. that was just reaction grabbing my weapon gotcha okay um dresley you are up night looking at the house like is it where we can reach it like it's how quite a distance it? away still yeah well i'm talking about like does the actual house part stand up like off the ground or the, the house is up off the ground about 20 feet uh these roots extend down into the ground all around it though okay i guess we're going there we're we gonna wait for it to come to us that's entirely up to you <laughs> i'm going to go Can we go through the trees, or are they too thick? Like, we have to go the way. You can move in between the trees there, yes. That's where I'm gonna do. I wanna go up here. Okay, you move up into the oh. thicker area of trees. Um, anything else with your turn? Action, bonus action? I'll take the dodge action in case it moves close to me or throws something. Okay. Uh, Tem, you are up. Alright. Um, well, actually, Tem and says it again, but uh, Tem, you are up first. Um, can I see... Can I see her out of there, or do we just see the house? You just, just see the, the hut. hut. Okay. I'm gonna run forward. Uh, to Dresley, and then I think that was about 30 feet. 35. And then I'm gonna dash the rest of the way, so. What, I got another 25? Okay. And that'll be it. Okay, uh, Sazed, being chased by these, uh, green glowing birds on your nightmare, you look over your shoulder uh, to the sound of this voice that seems to carry throughout the swamp. Um, and you see, as you focus your eyes in, uh, your group standing there, their weapons ready, facing off against this large hut. Can I use my turn to try to maneuver in a way to like group up the birds? Like kind of, you know, fly around them? 
Give me an acrobatics or athletics check using the nightmare. Ooh, Ooh let's go athletics. 18. Okay, um, as you move in a large sweeping motion, slowly moving upwards, um, this is going to take, uh, take your movement speed for it, but you do seem to gather them in a group as they gather, or, uh, or swarm together here, Sweet. underneath you. If they're all in a nice little ball, I will cast Fireball at them. Okay, um, go on ahead and, uh, Roll damage for that. Okay, um, while they do, uh, several of them do rapidly move out of the way, as quick as they are, it doesn't seem to be enough to uh, escape the flames' uh, damage from absolutely evaporating them. Nice. This large flaming explosion shocking through the air. Alright, that's my turn. Okay, um, Bon, you are up. Oh, oh boy, I, I am just going to, uh, remember all these splinters I still have yet to pull out of my body. And I'm just going to make my way to this here tree. Okay. How, uh, wait, I got 35. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna hide behind the tree. Okay. And, uh, oh. What were we gonna say? Action, bonus action. I was going to, I will have an action ready if something comes within my striking range, whether it's a tree limb or a book or <laughs> something. Okay, uh, what's your range? I believe my range. 30 or 60? 60. I think it's only 60 for the 60. dagger. Okay. Yep. Um, on its turn, it is going to move forward. It's a movement speed of 160. Oh my god, it moves. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stuff fucking nightmares. No, that's what I'm writing. Nope, nope. This, this, this one I think has. And it good. is going to toss a rock towards you, Tem, standing out there in the open. <laughs> that is a 14 oh to hit. This is. As, it's, as the rock <laughs> slams into the wet mud next to you, showering you with this swampy water. Ew. Oh. <laughs> Probably need is that? Is that it a is rock going or a to uh, reach down into the ground, grabbing another very large rock and slinging it towards you. That is a 21 to hit. Oh, that hits. You take 30 bludgeoning damage. Oof. Fucking. Be 15. Uh, 15. Uh, yes, yeah. you have resistance. That's oh my still God. a fucked up. Yeah. yeah, run towards <laughs> the tree. <laughs> run towards the tree, he says. So cheer is bond in the background. Ah, okay, punch. well, run towards deal the with trees, that. brother. Bond, give you back my health potion. <laughs> that is going to end its turn, and you are going to see the uh, curtains of one of the windows on the front open up. A ah. green skinned woman leans out, her white hair tied up above her head uh, and drapes down below her chin uh, several bird skulls hang out the window as she reaches out a hand that's really cool towards all of you she is going to ruin her day Maybe. I'm trying to see what she can do with her range, sorry. That's oh, alright. 
I need a dexterity saving throw. Uh, Dresley, Vaughn, and Tem. Uh, Vaughn, you get plus five because you are within range of Dresley. Oh, does me hiding behind a tree do nothing? <laughs> um, as she reaches out her hand, sorry, I should have described, a large burst of green flame shoots out and explodes amidst the trees. Uh, wrapping around everything. Wait a second. What's uh, what's the range on counter spell? Not that far, probably sixty feet. Sixty, um, yeah. 60 feet. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Which window you can is it? Counter spell. Uh, yeah. That one up there. Okay. So you see the flames uh, forming, and it shoots forth from her hand. You launch out uh, counter spell, negating her energy, and it fizzles as it flies through the air. Nice. She, you see Hopefully the curtain you close back as she steps away from the window. Coward! Why does it do that sometime, roll 20? Cut that shit out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Casimir, it is your turn. Oh, yeah. This is where it gets interesting. I will walk 25 feet forward. Okay, where to? Just straight. Oh, hold on. I can get my measuring stool out. Right here. Okay. And then let me measure to the house. 90 feet. I will take the dash action and go another 25 feet. Then I will take a bonus action, dash, just kidding, uh, I don't think I have any bonus actions. That's it. You said action to move where? Uh, just keep, I'm gonna keep going another 25 feet. Okay. I just draw, or quickly tuck my, uh, crutch in my bag and I just start <laughs> charging forward. Okay, you move into the trees, uh, tree line with the rest of your uh, group. Dresley, you are up. Tim, you are next. Alright, let's see. I'm going to move up by Tim. I don't really know what my options are to attack a house. <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to stay here and wait for it to come to me. Are you ready in action or no? No, just I'll take that direction again. Okay. Uh, Tem, uh, you are up. Uh... Mm. I will use my movement to get. I don't know, I use my max movement to go 30 feet up in front of that. Is this door right here in the middle, I'm assuming? Yes, yes. the door is yeah. in the center of this house, about 20 feet up in the air. 20 feet up in the air? Oh, fuck. Yes. All right, well, I will shift into where raven form then. Actually, instead of moving, I'll shift into where raven form, and then I will fly 50 feet. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, I think that'll get you would be able to door. reach the door then, yes. Knock, knock. Um, as you approach I'm the door the one who knocks. Um, and grab onto the handle, 
as you attempt to, are you attempting to open it or no? No, I'm going to fly through the window. Okay. You're going to fly just, through I'm the window? Fly, yeah, whatever window she was just at, I'm going to fly right through it. There's a little cloth over it, right? Just a cloth? Or was there shutters over it? Um, there was just cloth and uh, glass, but it did seem open as she, um, actually, no, it closed right behind her. Yeah. Sorry, she, she kind of just makes it do things. Uh, is he still within 60 feet? So you would have to, uh, sh he would be within 60 feet unless he, well, yeah, at the most of his movement, he would be at, still within 60 feet because he can't go further than that. I can't, yeah, I'd have to move again. That yeah, you can move action. into the, uh, into the window, though, if you'd like, but you'd have to go yeah. through the glass. That's fine. Yeah, I'll just go, I'll just wait here for a second, and then... Just outside the window? Yep. And I will hold okay. my action. If I see this window open, I will just fucking bolt. Action to transform. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, never mind. I'll hold my... Yep, I uh, can't wait. <laughs> okay, Sazed, uh, flying up in the air, uh, after burning the... Uh, birds that were chasing after you. Um, none of them seem to be flying up towards you currently, but you do see some giants below your feet uh, looking up at you hungrily. Oh. Shit. I just you on the outside. I... Uh, oh, there's still giant. How many guys do I see? Um, there are probably about three. Far below you, though, as you are way up above the trees. We don't want them to get that close. I'll fly uh, you down. Are, you are probably about 200 to 300 feet away, if not a little bit more, um, from the hut right now. I'll use the horse's action to dash and get Towards the hut? closer to the ground and the hut, kind of, but I don't want to bring the giants over there. Okay, they do seem fixated on you. Um, as you move, they do uh, start lumbering in your direction, but uh, nowhere near the pace at which you move. Alright, I will... I'll go a little further out then. Kind of bring the giants a little further out. Away from the group? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that ends your turn? Yeah. Okay, uh, Bond. You are up. Uh, do. Uh, let's see, where's the get my roller stick? Um. Hmm. Like Maybe. flying closer to the ground too. I don't know if I really specified to kind of like get yes, into like. Did. Oh shit! He's coming down. Let's go get him. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna just. Uh, I'm gonna keep using these trees as covered, cover, yeah, coverage. I'm to try to make my way uh, this way. How much I'll movement do you have? I have? I have only thirty-five, so I can I'll put you right there if you would like. Yep. Which is within range of the hut. Okay. Um. I, I, um, I'm gonna, th I'm just gonna, th yeah, I'm gonna throw my knife at the, the giant house. Okay. Because you couldn't hit the broadside of a bar. Honestly, I'm really, I'm really afraid that's gonna happen. I'll be very honest. I'm, I'm gonna be very embarrassed. Uh, now I'm like a sharpshooter. I can't study aim, so. Remember, one time we had a, divinely blessed giant fast person who missed all three of her swings that's different it happens sometimes <laughs> your uh, dagger yeah. sails forth between the branches of the tree striking in to the side of this hut and you feel a familiar connection or a familiar uh, feeling that you had sensed before when striking objects that had been animated by magic and your uh, damage does not seem to take hold Shit. <laughs> uh, uh, well, now we know it's not alive, so, you know, y'all well aware it isn't, um, we've been very close to each other. Uh, 
I should Been specify. Yeah. Then you know what? I'm going to just use my bonus action to hide behind the tree. Okay, give me a stealth check as you duck behind, or duck between the branches of the tree. Sneaky. Okay. Works. You press yourself up against the tree after launching this dagger out. I, I got a plan for next round. No worries, guys. Got something. Uh, Tim, um, you see two of these long spider-like roots uh, reach up towards you swatting you away from at wow. you in front of the window for a 25 jesus christ yeah that hits you take 20, 20 bludgeoning damage oh my god uh half 10 yeah half. Oh. i'm i'm just <laughs> telling you what the number is you got to you got to half it um okay. and a 15 to hit for the second one yeah that misses good thing you it got is going to it is going to throw a rock at Dresley for a 16 to hit. It slams down into the mud just in front of you, Dresley, showering you with uh, muddy water. Just got a bath. <laughs> um, Tem, you watch as the window in front of you opens up and... Uh, Eyes, pair of <laughs> pair of eyes uh, lock into yours, and she says the words, "Be still." Out of spell. You feel your. No, nope, I'm not gonna do. Wait, what is okay. it doing to me? He would. Uh, probably gonna that. make you stand still, and you're probably gonna fall. Be still. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. Fuck that. Counterspell that shit. Okay. Give me. Um, uh, it's a. What what was it for counterspell of a higher level spell? Contested. No, uh, it's, a, it's, a it's like a spell move. attack, right? You make it as a spell attack, and the DC is the ten spell plus the spell ten plus level. spells level. And he does uh, a d twenty plus his charisma, or whatever he does. Yes, d twenty yeah. plus uh, your spell attack modifier. That's if it's a higher spell than level five. Eighteen. Yes, it is oh. a higher spell level spell than five. Oh my god! She's trying to kill me. Um, <laughs> you. <laughs> just manage <laughs> to block this spell from seizing your muscles still. You feel it start to take hold and you push back and negate the energy around you. Uh, you see a very uh, frustrated look cross her face as she uh, begins, or as the curtain begins to close or the curtain oh, window a... begins to close and she starts oh, to move away. Yes, you do get an opportunity attack as you uh, strike yeah. Him. Oh no, Did reaction to counter spell. Oh no, yeah. He's my reaction to counter spell. Yeah, so you do not. I am more um, powerful than you could ever imagine. Casimir, that is your turn. I would like to keep running forward another, oh, let's say 15 feet and then trip over Tem or Bond. <laughs> okay. And then I will get up, grab my gem off the thing and I'm gonna throw my flaming sphere just underneath the house 60 feet and try to start burning the house Hold so on, figure if, 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 the house, if the house is gonna be dangerous let's get that out of the house let's burn it let's smoke her out Is it 10 or 5? It's 5. Why did what it... is? The radius on the sphere. Oh yeah, it's only a 5 foot radius. But I think it shines light within more. I don't know. I'm not usually using it for light, so... Oh, it's only 5? I could have still had a turtle. Yeah, see, I'm <laughs> sorry. I messed that up. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, so once I throw it out there, I'll use my bonus action to smash it into the house. Okay. Um, 
That does not save. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> I would be surprised if it did. Seven points of damage. Um, you see uh, flames crawl across some of the roots, burning uh, a bit of the bark away. And anything that's flammable is on fire. Okay. It does not seem to catch on fire. Well, not with that attitude. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. I will use... No, I think that was all my movement. Never mind. Yeah, that was movement, action, bonus action. Well, you have uh, 10, 10 more feet of movement because you only moved 15. I just, I'm just going to use it to pick myself back up because I tripped oh. over ten, Don. Okay. <laughs> Dressley, you were up. Tem, you were next. I didn't see him there. He was hiding. Very sneaky. Alright, I'm gonna go another 30 feet. Okay, can you can you do that again? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. As you move forth through the swampy uh, marshlands uh, within uh, just near the roots of it. How far away is, like, Tim from me on the ground? A square plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah, so it'd be... <laughs> is that, is that, uh... It's 20 feet, no? Yeah, like I'm 20 yeah, feet it's, he, it's 20 feet up. He's 20, and it's 20 feet away. So it would just be 20 feet. It would be 28 uh, feet. 28 feet. Yeah. 28 feet. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay. Yeah. 28 feet. Sorry. Just oh, shy of 30. But what's that Pistrin called? Put that green there. Yeah. You can be an educator. <laughs> So now that I'm finally in range, can I Misty step up to, I guess, the porch area that he's on? Um, he is flying in the air in front of a window. Oh, so there's no, like, there is no There is no landing or porch on the front of this house. There's a door. I guess I picture the landing, too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah then, you would normally, <laughs> but it does not have one. No. Oh. I had, I had to hold on to a door and then physically swing on in. You can missy step up to the door or a window if you'd like to try and gain access to the house. There are uh, two windows, one where Tem is at and then another one over here on this side, and then the door is in the center. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna Misty step up to the door and... I'd still have an attack, so I could attack it trying to Bust it open to get in. Okay. Uh, I, w I wouldn't be able to use my shield because it's I'm not moving. Today. Right. Okay. Um. Give me give me an attack roll with your warhammer as you uh, disappear from your current position and reappear in front of the door, bringing your hammer down upon it. Okay. As your hammer slams into it, roll damage. Googling how much HP does a door have? No. <laughs> um, as you um, as you slam your hammer into this uh, door, it 
blasts off of its hinges inward, and you appear standing here in a very gruesome and disturbing room. You see Baba Lasaga standing next to you. Her head turns towards you, and then looks down at your feet to the bare skin rug as you step in. On in the background, watch out for the rug! It bites! Look at Bond giving people information too late to do anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I gave everyone that information. You didn't say nothing about a rug. Just go get my extra attack. Okay. Actually, I think uh, you're right. You would have another attack, yes. I'm gonna attack her. Okay. You do still have a psychic link with us, though. Go ahead and roll an attack. I have to find my warhammer. Oh! That is. I hope so. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage. I am going to expend two charges. And murder. Second level. Damn! Okay. Oh. Oh god, it cause it's a crit. Oh man. Okay, you slam this into uh her jaw and you see her whole face twist to the side as this bright blast of energy streaks off the side of her face. She looks over towards you, uh, a heavy burn across the side of her face. The smile starts to widen a little bit more. The masochist. That's creepy. <laughs> you still have a... Uh... Nope, that'd be everything. No, okay. that'd be everything. Uh, Tem, you are up. Uh, Alright, seeing the doors open, I don't have to go through the window. I will fly over and going through the door. I don't know where the door is at, so... You know where door is. Okay, you can fly oh, into God. the door and see, uh... <laughs> Nothing. You don't Nothing. see anything? Blackness. Check, Check down there. here. Yep, yep. I'm in, in nothing but darkness. He's blind. Oh, now I... Now I see, see now. monochrome. Yeah. Oh, now I got... No, oh my God, it's... it's it's all in color now. All right. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. I think. <laughs> okay. You're confusing. <laughs> I, well, um, I mean, what else would you like to do? I want to smack Bobble Saga. <laughs> okay. I can't do shit else because I use all my spells on counter spell. Um. <laughs> ooh, actually. Uh. Mm, yeah. Yep. We are going to use my glaive and hit her. Twice. Okay. Uh, those both hit. Ooh. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Aww. Sorry, the fourteen does not hit. It just misses. Oh, actually, ah, uh, oh, fuck! I didn't do it. Son of a bitch. He never right, did. Wait till next turn. I know. I know. <laughs> I don't use it that often. Like it never seems appropriate to use it until like a, you know, quote unquote. Hey, that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you reach past Dresley with your glaive, and it uh, cuts into Baba Lasaga's arm. Um, that end your turn then? You might as well do it now. What are you thinking uh... about it? <laughs> Yeah, I, might as, I guess I might as well, dude. I I will bonus action, Hexblade's Curse, Mobile Saga. Okay. I can find it. Alright. Okay, uh, Sacid, you are up. I would like to, still kind of being in range of the, uh, big giants looking up at me, right? Um. You're, they're following 
uh, towards you, but you have outpaced them. They are definitely heading in your direction, though. Right, I will... uh, you see some drool start to fall from one of them's mouth as you descend below the tree tops. I will use some movement speed to fly straight towards them. Going down, say maybe okay. 45 feet. And then while I'm still kind of far away, I will stop and cast Major Image at 4th level, because I'm at a 3rd level. And I will make an exact copy of me on the horse, over top of me. Okay. So it looks like just me on the horse, right over them. Gotcha. And I will use the horse's action to ethereal stride and okay. go to the ethereal plane. Okay. Um, as you move down, they hungrily are licking their lips with you moving towards them, their hands starting to outstretch, and then you disappear into a very uh, monochrome looking. Uh, version of Barovia. Around it, you see several spirits seem to be wandering across the, the uh, swamp lands below you. Yeah, creepy. None of them noticing you, but they are. There are quite a lot of them. I will use the rest of his movement speed to go towards the house. Then. Okay. And that was his actions. So we can't dash. Okay. Uh, bon, you are up. Oh boy, well, I was going to try to get my way back in that lovely abode, uh, so I'm going to throw a uh, knife up at the front door and try okay. to uh You should probably get closer on. first. Oh, I'm going to move you have to closer. roll a dice to determine <laughs> how far it is, yes. Yes, so I'm going to move, uh, move closer. To the how door. close would you like to move? Uh, so you're right about here, just to be safe. Do I just right do, here, I just do a... Uh, yeah. Do I just do a uh, normal action for the thing? I just have to... Roll yeah, roll a, one of your uh, dice. See how far you yeah. go. Yes, oh. you, throw, uh, oh. you roll one of your psionic energy oh. die, and it tells you how far you can roll the park out. That is 50 feet, right? Oh. Yeah. Because yep. times 10? Okay, so yes, you can easily throw a dagger in just beyond Tim and Dressley. Cool. Um, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> he lands on the rock. <laughs> Actually, yes. <Huh>? You do. <laughs> oh, no. okay. Ah. We meet again. You can choose which which you can choose which of these two spaces you'd like to land in though. No, you I'm can choose I'm happy. where on this road. Nah, I'm happy where I'm at. Okay. Um on uh wait, that was uh you have something else you can do, right? Bonus okay, action. Was, was that a bonus cool. action? That was a bonus action? You still have an action then. Oh. Where's that Bobby Yaga lady? <laughs> she's 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 catching a knife. Oh, that thing! Oh, it's a stuff of nightmares right there. Uh, would I get uh, would I get still sneak get attack? A sneak attack? Good, 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 because good, you good. have an ally within five feet. Yes. Oh, perfect. Who? Not rolling too high, but she's an old lady. She can't move that fast. Uh, that does not hit. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you, Bobby Yaga. Sorry, I thought I held that down, and then I heard you say she's an old lady. She can't hit that fast, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, he didn't. I didn't hold the button. Down. Apparent. Uh, I'm just a little, uh, still a little woozy from that uh, jump. That's <laughs> little, that, little that's it. A little shocked from that, and the realization that you're standing on the rug that tried to scratch you. Shell Murder me last time. Minus yet another one of my dice. Okay, that's that's all okay. I got. Um, on the hut's turn. Can you? Oh, um, Casimir, roll 
Wait, you you just summoned that last turn. It hasn't been its turn yet, or am I right? Or no? Uh, yeah, it's at the end of this okay. turn that he gets okay. burned. And if he um, doesn't move, it is going to reach a root up. You know what? It's gonna creep a little forward. And it is going to swing one root up into the door frame. Um, I'm not a threat to him yet. <laughs> uh, that is going to be. 29 to hit you, Dresley. That hits. You take uh, 30 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god! It's a really high roll. <laughs> um, another root is going to swing down towards you, Casimir. I'm a threat to him. It is a 27 to hit. That misses. <laughs> You take uh, 27 bludgeoning damage. As this heavy root slams down on your form. Yeah. <laughs> now that concentration uh, check is higher than 10. Yeah, let me go ahead and roll that. Oh, wow. Oh, I think okay. I saved. Yes, I'm still, I'm, I'm still pretty. <laughs> Wait. That's um, concentration then... too? Yeah, I only have the one concentration in my yet. Uh... Oh, wait a minute, no. you're right, you're right. Oh yeah, you're not pretty oh. anymore. You've just got a fireball. Um, it As the flames start to lick across its roots, by the way, go ahead and roll damage. I'm not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Does it catch on fire? <laughs> um, it does not catch on fire. Let's see, um, Obelith Saga is going to extend her palm out towards uh, Dresley and Tem, and lightning is going to crackle across her fingertips. I need both of you to give me dexterity saving throw. Oh. Oh, are you still inspired? Is she still inspired? She... How how long... Inspiration lasts how long? A minute? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. Um... Probably not, then, if Aww. they were moving through the swamp towards it. Um... You know what? Actually, because it wasn't that far away, and they were moving towards it, and it was moving towards them, I would say it would be just within that window. Yeah! D8? D8. So... Nice. Doesn't she get a plus five just for being near herself? That's why it's plus ten. <laughs> yeah, that's why yeah. it's plus ten. Oh. Uh... Okay. Um, you manage to both narrowly dodge out of the way, but the lightning still manages to crackle a little bit across your form, and you take fifteen lightning damage. Oh, oh both no. of us. Yes, both of well, um, you. Well, you out. get resisted. You so get, I get resisted. seven. Yeah, seven. And she gets twenty-three. Oh my god! Right, oh wait, you I took have... half the damage. I did. Twenty-three. You take half damage. I have shield master. I have shield master. Okay, so you're going to use your reaction to put your shield between you and prevent it from hitting you? Oh, it says only you. Yeah. Yeah. For an so I am going... Oh, no, never mind. I am going to save me, myself, from getting hit, but Tim still gets hit, and I'm knocked out. Oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Like oh no, bro. Yeah, because I take your half damage. Oh my god, I took You've a lot of damage. Her. Yeah. 
storm the castle, I didn't these guys. Well. Okay. And then she is going to move over here. Oh, I'm gonna hit her. Okay. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? Oh, oh no, what have you done? Oh god, I just cost Jesley a death save. Oh, okay, well, well maybe. Go ahead Do and I... roll damage. Yeah, you go unconscious. <laughs> okay, you take, uh... Oh my god, half, do I get half, half, damage? half rounded down, <laughs> plus resistance, you take... He's not resistant anymore. He doesn't get resistant. Oh yeah, you're not resistant anymore because he's unconscious, so you take half <laughs> rounded down, which is four. You take four slashing damage as, uh... You swing out with your, or, yeah, with your weapon and catch your hand on the blade. I don't know how you <laughs> cut yourself with the blade. Dude. What you did? Long. You smack yourself in the back of the head with the uh, staff <laughs> as you try to, yeah, with the haft as you try to swirl it around. Fancy. Oh man, max maximum polar master damage. Uh, Casimir, you were up. Uh, Kazmir's gonna look around and realize that nobody else is on the field with him. <laughs> and he has no fucking way to get up there. <laughs> so he's gonna just slam the... He's gonna move the sphere probably toward... Just underneath, like, right here. So it's like right in the middle. Okay. Underneath, if he can. And then roll that damage. Fuck you. And then uh, he'll grab his crutch out of his thing and limp towards the fucking tree and I guess start trying to climb a root. I don't know how else to get up there. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you grab onto a root and attempt to climb, give me a acrobatics or athletics check trying to climb up the root towards the door. Is that with your gauntlets? Yeah. I guess that's where I get the plus four from. <laughs> you do not manage to uh, gain much purchase as you attempt to climb this route and I, do not I, feel yourself. Am I at least holding on to it? You are holding on to it, but uh, you have not climbed up any. That's. You're basically sitting on uh, one of the roots. That's probably more than I could have hoped for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Dresley, give me a death saving throw. I just hit this. Natural 20, natural 20. Maybe Strahd will come and protect his future wife. Oh, okay. Man. <clears throat> uh, Tim, you were up. Oh god, what the fuck do I do? I'm gonna fucking die. Um... Fuck it, I'm just gonna go for it. I am just, I'm gonna rush Baba Saga and start smacking with my glaive. Okay, where are you moving to? Oh, I guess I have to kind of go around the pool, so like right here. Okay. Stand on the other side of this podium, this glowing book uh, between the two of you. Oh, is there a book on it? Yes, there is. And it's glowing? <laughs> yes, it is. I'm gonna grab the book and I'm Oh my god. Gonna... Fuck, what do I do with the book? Uh, do I grab the book? No, I don't grab the book. I'm fucking hitting her. I can't okay. really grab the book though, but we're gonna, we will hold off on that. <laughs> okay, oh uh, it hits her. Go ahead and roll damage. Obviously, oh, Bond did not tell us the full story of what happened in that house. <laughs> <laughs> 19? For that one. Okay, your blade slices into her. Uh, you notice as you cut into her that uh, no blood comes out of her body, but uh, the wound does cleave across her skin. It looks like it hurt her, though, right? Like, it looks... Yes, it does look like it hurt her. She you know, definitely a little reeled bit. from the pain. Yes. Okay, and I'll hit her again. Oh, yes, 19. Oh, is that a 19 natural? Is that a 19 crit? No, no it's just a natural 20. 20. That's, a, that's a natural oh. 20 crit, but it does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, maximum damage. Fuck you. Okay, so that would be... 
25 plus 4, which is... 29? 38. Oh, 19 plus 19 is 38, plus another 10 is 48 damage. What? Well, your hex what? plus curse doesn't get doubled. Only the dice <laughs> well, roll. I yeah, know, so it's it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm adding it all up, right? I'm oh, okay, it I got you. <laughs> total, total damage for the turn is, thir is 38, 48 damage. And then, hold on, I think I get one more. <laughs> one more. Uh, yeah, full arm master attack. This is just okay. a, a d4. Uh, okay. 1d20 plus 5. Oh, I guess that's uh, not As you swing out with the haft of your weapon, she dodges to the side. Uh, but as as you look at her now, she seems. Oh, wait, plus be, four. Uh, Sorry, so 14. Oh, plus four. 14 um, does not hit. She still just narrowly dodges to the side from it. Bastard. Uh, but you can tell uh, underneath this assault, she appears to be looking uh, quite hurt. All right, well, well that's, uh, that's all I can do. Okay, uh, says it. It is your turn in with, the ethereal plane. Um, with the movement still, from last uh, time, how far away am I? You are still uh, over 200 feet away. I will fly 180 feet towards it with a dash, then. Okay. And um, you'll probably be able to get there. Not next turn. Well, yeah, ne at the end of your next turn, or with all of your movement next turn. Mm -hmm. If you dash at this pace, I will. Oh, wait, do I have a spell for that? No, I don't. No, I'll just dash and then remain in the ethereal plane. Okay. Uh, Bon, you are up. Okay. I'm gonna run over to my uh, downed partner in crime here, and uh, and uh, give her a healing potion. Okay. That's what I got. Uh, oh, I put it somewhere. <laughs> I got it. I was, okay, good. I was like, I was hoping the card would go there. Go ahead and roll the healing for that as you pour the contents of the vial into her mouth. Oh, what was it? It was a uh, two D four plus two. Plus two. Big money. Okay, uh, Dresley, you return to consciousness uh, with six HP. I'm so sorry. Uh, you still have a action phone. Oh, sweet! Uh, I thought giving uh, a potion to somebody was a and drinking it yourself was a bonus action. Oh, is it just a bonus action? Okay. Um. Well. Uh. 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 Um. Um. um There's really only one thing I can do. Knife. Okay. Sure. You throw your dagger out towards her. Knife to me too. Just, uh, just connecting with her. Um, it strikes her in the shoulder. How do you like them apples? <laughs> I see her, uh, shit. you see her grab up to, towards her head as the pain streaks through her mind. <laughs> and then you see her point her finger out towards you. Um, that end your turn, or were you doing anything else? Sorry, no, I, I can't. I, I bonus action was to give her the potion, and actions to throw a knife and talk shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as she points her finger out towards you, you hear a rumbling behind you, and a root uh, streaks in through the doorway between you and Dresley, slamming down onto the rug, uh, pinning it to the ground. You see it start to shake beneath the weight and before it goes limp. And then it is going to, since it missed you, try to swing back in and hit you. Do I get a, uh, First hit was a 14, so this is an 18 to hit you. Does that hit? Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it hits me with an uncanny dodge. Okay. <laughs> uh, you take... 33 bludgeoning damage. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then halved. <laughs> halved. So that would be 16. See? See? As this uh, root swings over towards you, you duck 
down so it doesn't catch you in the side of your head and instead catches your shoulder, rolling your body along with it. Uh, you see it smash into the table nearby, scattering its contents. And that was a 13, uh, sorry, what was the... 16. 16. Oh. Um, on her turn... Was that a natural 20, by the way? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, it just hits like a freaking truck, dude. It hits like, like a tree. At a natural 20, <laughs> you just die. <laughs> I know. It's you don't pass paste. go. You don't collect $200. <laughs> just imagine it's like a titan walking through and just... Wonk. Uh, Tem. Oh, On no. her turn, she is going to put her palm outward towards you. Oh, I'm gonna die. And say, rest well. And I need a constitution saving throw. Uh oh. Natural 20. Boom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, time out. Did you call it or did you right. see it before? Oh, I called it. I called it. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Okay. Fair, take... There's like a 1 in 20 chance of that happening. <laughs> I mean, you do it 20 times, you probably hit once. You take half yeah. damage. Ooh. Okay, that's just not good though, so I mean... <laughs> um, which is... 20... Oh my... Hold on. Oh, 20 Sullivan. 29. Oh, 20 and a half? <laughs> and as this energy... this ne It's 20, 29 necrotic energy. Oh, Did she just power, uh, word, power word killed you? I think so, yeah. Uh, I am unconscious. I don't think no. there's anything. That, I'm not safe from that. As this necrotic energy courses through your form, you feel your life force start to slip away. Oh, I'm dead. Am I dead? Um, as you fall to the ground, um, you feel something around you, but you can't see it slowly starts to fade into view. They are images that you had seen before. Uh, you recognize them after a moment to be the paintings of the fanes. You recognize the, uh, the green one, which you had been told previously was the weaver and the uh, stronger woman with the antlers and then the painting which had not been completed starts to fill itself in you see images of ravens floating above a dark garbed woman her hair flowing down below her and a set of cards displayed in front of her and you fall unconscious are you dead no, he is unconscious. No, he's dead. <laughs> Something <laughs> saved him. You use your own life. It is your turn. I'm going to climb. Okay, give me an athletics or an acrobatics check. Okay, you manage your way up to the front of this door and hobble yourself inside. Oh, uh, shit. I wasn't expecting to get in here this fast. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Looking around, seeing how crazy shit is going, I'm going to... Fuck, I don't think I can do that because I'm at a third level spell slots. Fuck. He's a fourth, yeah. fuck it. I don't have any fourth levels. Oh my god. Wow. Oh wait, no, no, no. No, no. I think yes, I'm good. Yes. I think I'm good. I'm good. Hold on. I gotta I gotta minimize everything. What level is this? Oh no, Mass Healing Word is level three. Fuck. Alright, uh is Tem still on the ground? Yes, he is. Uh I will suck it. Pop a red bubbly potion into my pistol and shoot him with a healing word. Okay. I'm gonna aim for his mouth. 
<laughs> Shoot it in my mouth. Oh my god. Wait, no, wait, Let's no, go. Wait, wait, hold on. Is that one? She's unconscious. You okay, that know. one's 60. No, I was to make sure it wasn't the one that, because I know one of them's touch. But that's Cure Wounds. Okay, Tim, you feel uh, your life force return as the image fades. Um, let me huh. show you what you had seen. Nice. Oh, shit, I missed it. I fucked it up. As a uh, seven point I'll do it again healing, for you. It's uh, forced into your mouth against your will. Thanks, Astor Vino <laughs> Lady. Nice. I lost the turn order. I did oh. too. Where'd it go away? What the heck? I brought it back up. Okay, uh, Casimir, any. That was bonus action. And then climbing. Uh, that ends your turn. You're still. Oh, wait. Yeah. It's an action to, uh, to climb it. Oh, then I still have my movement? Yes, you still have your movement. Sorry, right. if you'd like to move. I'd like to hobble. I'll. Fuck it. I'll hobble my way to be trying to get in between Tem and Baba La Solga. Okay. Uh, you hobble over there, uh, standing over Tem, placing your crutch between you or between her and him. Uh, Dresley, you are up. Tem, you are next. No, oh, Dresley's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kind of mumble a thank you, but my sight is focused. So. Um, it would be, you are prone because you were unconscious, so it would be half your movement speed to get up. That's fine. I'll misty step over there. Yeah! Okay. You misty step over to this uh, bed. Uh, several body parts uh, are underneath it. It's sheets and blankets stained with blood. Mm -hmm. And I am going to... It's a bonus action, so I can do that. I am going to attack her. Yeah, okay, it's... Okay, that hits. Alright. Two charges for a second level Divine Smite. Oh my. Okay, as your uh, hammer blasts into uh, blasts radiant energy out from her side, uh, she hisses as it strikes into her. She is looking hurt, like really hurt. That also hits. I'm going to use my last two skull points for just a normal divine sight. As you slam your warhammer a second time into her uh, back, she falls forward, catching herself against the podium. She seems, bre uh, seems to be breathing quite haggardly now. And I am still at six health points, so I'm just going to freaking look at Tim and tell, tell her. Tell her. <laughs> tell her. Okay. Breathing really heavily. Do she it. Is. <laughs> uh, <Wet>. Tim. <laughs> Tim, it is your turn. Uh, I will. I'm assuming I'm laying on the floor, so I will stand up. Kind of wipe the blood off my mouth and just hit her with my glaive. I'm gonna try and like execute her. She's leaned forward. Okay. I'm just gonna try and cut her fucking head off. Oh my god. Uh, as soon as I can find my attack button. Natural 19. Go. Uh, oh. oh my god. Okay. Oh, that's that tough. that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. <sighs> okay. Tim. This, how do you want to do this? I just wanna. 
I just want to execute her. Cut her head clean off. Okay, I don't you, die that easy. As you bring your glaive <laughs> down many. on her head, I mean, which is fun. hanging forward, it slices through her hair uh, and straight through her neck, coming out the other side. It falls to the ground, rolling at your feet. It looks up at you, <laughs> blinking. Words escape its mouth before it stops. It says, You are too late. Mm, that's foreboding. Um, is it dead, though? Her body does fall to the ground still. And then you feel a shifting beneath your feet. The house begins to shake violently around you as it descends rapidly. Can I grab the book? I need everyone to first give me a, see, be a dexterity save. Oh no, they passed back out oh, again. Uh, oh yeah, that's going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Wait, does that mean I get advantage, right? A dexterity saving, or can I cast dexterity a... saving throw? Or can I drink a potion instead? It is a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I get health though. I get healed. Fuck, hold on, I forgot about that. I might not die. I might <laughs> not die. That would be a shame. <laughs> he passed out again. The Raven Queen's just like, oh my god. Okay. Okay, uh, stop dying. Uh, bon, uh, bon, Dresley, and Casimir, you all managed to uh, adjust yourself and find a w footing where you're not f uh, flung into the roof as it descends rapidly. Uh, Tem, your fingers slip from the podium as you reach out to grab towards it. Uh, you notice the the pages of the book start burning rapidly oh, no. oh, uh, as the as it turns to ash and you slam into the roof, taking ten bludgeoning. Damage. <laughs> oh. Okay. You're conscious? No. Damn it. And you land back down on the ground next to the podium. Taking another uh, ten. <laughs> no. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Uh, but you do notice that the book appears to have burned away to ash. Damn, damn it. And Tem's got his fucking ass beat and Dresley by proxy, too, I guess, but Jesus Christ. I'm... Can yeah. I give myself my last 20 points of pay on hands? <laughs> okay. And, uh, if nobody's doing anything, can I, like, make my way towards this bed and start looking at these body parts and putting whichever ones are still good in my bag. <laughs> oh my give, me God. A, give me a medicine check as you try to see which parts are salvageable. I, okay. I like to be able to see what he's doing and be like, hey, we're actually looking for people before you steal. I will, if, you... If, if, if there's like a face or something to be <laughs> oh identified. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine then. Just hold it up like a Halloween mask. Like, is, this, is, this, is this you're looking for? Is this someone we're looking for? Oh, 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 oh. Um, I would like to stab the rug. I'm pretty sure the root... Uh, the rug, yeah, the rug seems to have been crushed by uh, the root as it came in. You see a large tear down the center of it, and it doesn't seem to be moving. I stand by what I said. Okay, you can stab with at your the rug again. With your psychic dagger, go for it. Fuck you, rug. <laughs> Bite on me, you dickhead. All right. By the way, this rug would have and come to life and try to eat one of us. That's what it did to me. Tim, you get your healing? Mm, no. What healing? You get, uh, Dresley said she gave you 10 points. Oh. In chat. Um, um, oh, I did see that. Uh, as you were looking about the room, uh, you notice thick red moss seems to be growing around the walls of it. Um, which also seems to be receding quite rapidly, turning gray and dying. Um, a small crib rests in the corner next to a strange altar and oh, a no. small uh, pot of mushrooms. Another one. 
or did not crib, think? but basket. Sorry, did it looks like a crib for me. That's what I thought it was. Idea popped in my head. Do you, do um, you think she's been making the hags? Probably. Moving on. I Did pop you... out of the ethereal plane. I'm here to help. Ah. You see Tem oh. he's bent over. He's dripping blood out of his mouth. Is he blood still. Casimir's just pulling out arms and legs out from underneath the bed. <laughs> oh my god. Can I sliding, look at the... Sliding into his bag of holding. <laughs> That's not a bag of cold thing. I'm sorry, Dresley, you were looking at the uh, basket? Yeah. Okay. Um, it appears to be very fine cloth um, in this basket. Uh, a bundle of black uh, covering up a very fine silk uh, padded interior of this basket. It appears to be uh, almost crafted as some sort of bed for something very small. And while everything else in here seems to be stained with blood, this appears to be untouched and on uh, untouched by that blood. Um, as you look at it, you notice a crack in the floorboards beneath it. A small glow emanates. Asmir, have you been sleeping here? What? That's not your, this is perfect size for you. This is your I mean, bed. Then he pulls out a head of some random person like, <laughs> are we looking for this one? <laughs> I look more closely at the... Take it with us. I mean, we don't okay. really know what the sister the sister looks like. So, you move the the crib. Bag. You move the crib to the side and uh, notice um, what appears to be a trap door here, and something glowing bright green from beneath mm -hmm. the trap door. That's never good. Turn the lens right. Oh, and there's a door here. You want to? Ooh. <laughs> A door? Maybe there's loot. Just, I could just open it from a distance if you want. I would like to check for traps. Give me an investigation check as you check for traps. Investigation. Surprisingly. Seems fine. Nothing <laughs> that you notice out of place. <laughs> Perfectly fine. What's the worst that can happen? You got a long stick of any kind? Why? It seems fine. Like... Alright, I open up the hatch. Okay. Um, Tresley, Tem, and... Uh, or Tem, are you near it? I am <laughs> over by the podium still. I don't okay, know. Bon. Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw, Tresley and Bon. Super <laughs> easy. Barely inconvenient. Oh my god. <laughs> uh I had to tell you to back up, and I could open a, it from a distance. A shockwave uh, seems to emanate. You see a, a glow from beneath the lid um, as a shockwave shoots out towards you both. Um, you manage to dodge out of the way uh, entirely, Bon. Uh, Dresley, um, you are still hit with some of it. Or, you, yeah, yes, you can use your shield master. So then you were able to deflect deflect the force off with your shield. Love shield. <laughs> I'm not really the best at uh, checking for traps. I probably should have said that before. We see opening. that. <laughs> uh, is there anything down there, or is it just... Uh, you do see uh, a small green gem. You're, you've seen one of these gems before. Ooh. You'd given them to the... Uh, Wizards of Wine. That Wine gem green. is for the fields. Um, you also see a chest. <gasps> Ooh. More loot! <laughs> pull that chest out. I'm gonna pull it's the unrelated. chest out. I'm very good at looking for things. You, you're just sitting there over there, uh, 
picking up uh, body parts. You done yet? I just have a really oh. high investigation. No. Oh. Okay, well. I'll, I'll hold up the gym towards Kazmir and said there should be another one at base. I'll mm -hmm. crawl under the bed and look for stuff. Okay, <laughs> give me an investigation check as you crawl under the bed amidst what you are now realizing what is holding <laughs> this uh, mattress up. Uh, as the boards underneath it seem to have been rotted through, it is just a tunnel of body parts down here. Just, through. just grab my bag of holding and start scooping. <laughs> you do not find any kind of uh, gem underneath there, though. Can or anything uh... except body parts. There's so many parts! <laughs> Can I turn my ghostly gaze on and kind of look around and see maybe over on this table here? Uh, sorry, I don't have pointers in right here. Just kind of look around and see if I can see any other, like, trap doors. Maybe look through the floor, look down, see if there's any other... Hurry up and get what you can and get out. The house does not seem to be doing good. Okay, um, you look around the interior of the, uh, home, looking down. Uh, you see only the floorboards eventually lead to what appears to be a large tree <laughs> stump, um one solid tree stump that extends out into these roots. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything else beneath the floor, and as you look through the walls and then continue your gaze upward, you see the the thick vines of, uh, or that seem to climb in underneath the roof. Uh, you peer into them, and you see uh, somewhere in there, in the center of this ball of roots hanging above this tub in the center trickling blood continuously the form of a very large uh figure probably about uh eight feet tall oh my god there's somebody up here there's some this blood is coming from a creature up above us is it like on, it's like between the roof and like the ceiling or something like that. Like yes, kind of it's, be it's, bet be. it's between the between the ceiling. Yeah, it'd be like where an attic space would be, but you don't see any attic space. It's just all a tangle of roots. Uh, oh, okay. So there's no like there's no actual ceiling either. It's just the roots above me. Well, oh. there's a roof on top of it, but it's on mm. top of the roots. I'll just start hacking with my glaive and try and carve a path up there. Okay. We have to get them out. We have to get this thing out. I don't know what's up there. There's something up there that we need to get out. Okay, it takes a little bit of hacking, but um, you begin to make your way through it. Um, those of you by the chest, what are you doing? Uh, well, uh, who's good at investigation for th if this chest is trapped? I don't want to open up another trap and ruin Kaz something that might be inside. Casmir ears, but he is like... Casimir. Under the Kazmier. bed in a pile of bodies just grabbing stuff. Get out of here, you little gremlin. <laughs> body parts aren't going anywhere. So I need you to check this chest. Uh, right, he's come. in heaven. I know. I'll, they, they, I'll, they'll still be there. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> crawl out just covered in blood. Aren't those like, rotten some, by now? So, someone's ear is just like stuck to my cheek. And I'll walk over to this tra uh, chest and look at it. <laughs> okay, give me an investigation <laughs> check. He puts his cheek ear up to it to hear, see if he hears anything. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Hold on, I have to stop laughing. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, it does not appear to be trapped. Nice. But it is locked. Okay. I have um, something I... for this, too. Oh, you do? So I'm pretty good at getting locks open. I also have these tools. Oh, oh hey, you're already there. <laughs> uh, as Casimir pulls out his thieves' tools, uh, nimbly s slipping them into the lock, you hear a pop. Aww. And Casimir, you pull the the lo uh, the thieves' tools out, and you see one of your uh, one of your pieces bent just a little bit. And you straighten it back out. And then you might have jammed the lock a little bit more. Did not unlock it. 
Oh. Uh, you said pop. I thought but, the lock popped. <laughs> let me. Uh, I will. I will. Yeah, I will, I will it sounded I will, hopeful. I will. <laughs> I will. I will, I will put, peel the ear off my cheek and just hold it up to the lock. Oh, this one sounds very difficult. Uh, do you want me to give a get a, get a little crack at it? Worse or worse, we can always just hack this chest apart. But just open it, man. Hurry up. Oh. Wow. Oh. All right. I'm actually looking. These tools right now. There they are. Uh, I thought I click. Can I click on it? Why? Why no worky work? Should be able to click the word. Yeah, it's wanting to type there though. I'm, I will. I'm under item names. D twenty like plus proficiency plus dex. Are you looking under your tools section? Are you proficient in sleight of hand? Oh, um, oh hand. that's, oh, that's, yep, that's my problem. Okay. Yeah, sleight of hand Great. would be the same thing. Uh, let's see. I, I, I got it now. Do you? Have... He said it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, Bon, with <sighs> uh, practice skill, you slip the, uh, pins in, or slip the pins in and move the tumblers at pops open, the lid creaks a little bit upward. Ta-da! <laughs> I must have loosened it for you. You must have. <laughs> I'm going to grab the ear and launch it back underneath the bed and go, go get it! You can do it! <laughs> Casimir contemplates shooting Bond in the back of the head. Damn! Wow! Did the hag have anything good? Haven't looked at her yet. If you'd like to, uh, the horse doesn't seem to fit through this doorway. <laughs> he's still <on> the horse. <laughs> yeah, he's just hovering outside the doorway <laughs> on the nightmare. Um, which it's now uh, so, dropped down to probably about five foot off the ground from the the stump yeah. resting on the earth. Oh. Let us let us know if there's anything uh, coming our way. Uh, anything in the chest? Uh, yes, there is a <clears throat> lot of gold. Oh my god. Um, nice. And also, um, uh, ruby, topaz, <gasps> um, a diamond, and a jade stone. Yeah, each man. of which about the size of your fist. Oh my god. There is oh a god. small vial in there. Uh, it's got a uh, yellowish liquid inside um, two magical scrolls a uh, pair of uh, or it looks like some kind of flute or a set of pipes that Ooh. have uh, bird skulls and feathers attached to them and a uh, small pouch uh, looks like it's got rocks inside of it oh no okay. oh no they're keith oh Freeze his back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, Is Tim still hacking up at the roof? Hacking at the ceiling. Um. By about this time, as you've knocked the chest loose, uh, a figure starts to fall towards you, Tim, as you cut one of the last roots. Well, uh, catch it. Try to. Anyways. Okay. Give me a strength uh, check. Oh, that's not. So I help <laughs> I help oh, okay, uh, you reach out your hands to catch this face hugger, this heavy <laughs> and large figure, and you watch her as you notice it is now uh, a an older looking woman uh, falls down into this uh, pool oh, of no. blood. Um, she seems to be conscious, but <sighs> very injured. Um, oh, as she oh, turns her hell? as she turns her head towards you, uh, her hair uh, thickly matted with dirt and blood. You see uh, twigs sticking out in different directions, like antlers almost on her head. Um, oh. Her her face is very uh, weathered and tan. She looks over towards you in a a very light grin crosses her face as she 
turns her head over towards the still form of Baba Lasaga. Hello. Are you Gany's sister? Uh, oh, God. Uh, she doesn't seem to respond as she sits there, kind of just floating in the blood. Get her out of the blood, Tam. Jesus. Okay, I'm trying. I'm not very yeah. strong. I can't really lift her. She's slippery. I okay. Try to lift a person. Kaz 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 Kazmir will walk over and just pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> Casimir steps forward, lifts himself up on the edge of the tub, takes the other arm and just kind of pulls her out of the tub and stand, helps to stand her up. Um, as she gets out of the blood, she her gaze continues to be focused on uh, Baba Lasaga's body. Uh, where's Baba Lasaga's head? Um, probably right there next to you. Oh, God. I will grab that and just slowly put it in the bag. <laughs> We're gonna catch. We're gonna put that on. We're gonna put that uh, light that on fire later. So it's a good idea. Put it in the bag. Can I cast prestidigitation to clean her off a little? Maybe a couple times. Okay. Uh, you see, uh, bits of blood splatter across the far wall off of her form. Um, you notice as you do so that she has several hundred cuts across Ooh. her body from where these thorns had dug into her, and she continues to bleed from them. I will cast healing word then. Okay. Uh, you see some of, uh, a lot of them close. Uh, go ahead and roll. Seven. Seven. Okay, it seems to at least hold the bleeding at bay if it, f for the wounds that it doesn't close. Uh, so it's no longer flowing out of her body. And as the, the healing washes over her, she takes a one of her large hands and slams it down hard into Baba Lasaga's body right into her chest. You hear bones snapping. As she pulls her hand free, she holds a black and rotted looking heart. Cover, or, but instead of uh, the typical arteries that come out from it, it is a, uh, a mass of vines and uh, twisted thorns. And you see brown swamp water seem to pour out from it Ooh. as it continues to beat in her hand. She turns oh. over towards you, Tim, and she reaches out towards you with it. Eat it, Tim. Uh, eat, 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 eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I'll grab it. If you don't want that, I will take it. You better eat it. Toss it up in the air like a pitch to yourself. Baseball. And I'll cast... Oh. Create bonfire on the floor, and I'll burn it. Okay, as the flames appear in front of her, she grabs onto your wrist and looks in your eyes. A very serious look crosses her face. She silently points with her other hand out the door, and what looks like towards the south. If oh. only someone here had a psychic connection with people. Bob, can you translate? I'd like to make a me uh, mental connection with said lady. Okay. Towards the uh, south. It's, uh, yes, oh, hill. Getting low on my dice for the first time oh, ever. Yes, oh, yes, Oh, yes, hill. That's so smart, Chesley. <laughs> hey. hey there, lady. Don't be alarmed. We're here to help. We're, we were sent here by your sister. I would give her a friendly Possibly. wave and I'll point towards my head. <laughs> <laughs> Just so... She, she turns over towards Bon as uh, this voice enters into her head. She nods at you and she opens her mouth and she says, Shrine. Oh. Cleanse it. <laughs> She can talk. We sorry, we weren't sure if you could couldn't talk. Alright. She she grabs your wrist, Tem, and she begins to walk out from the hut. Can I offer you follow her with a her? potion? Yeah. Uh, does she have clothes on? Don't worry about that. <laughs> and if not, does we have a token for her? So you can make <laughs> so I can see it. <laughs> Um, I do not have a token for her. 
In Lamordia, old women are very sought after. If she does not have clothing, I offer her clothing. Uh, she does have yeah. clothing, yes. It's okay. just uh, very tattered and ripped, but... Um, Grab her some of the cloth out of the Oh, I cast that's mending that's on her clothing. All right. What are you, what are you uh, waiting okay. here? We're going. We're leaving. Okay. Um, I guess. Passive perception, uh, as she crushed her fist into Babala Saga's uh, body, um, I believe Sazed and Bon, you would have noticed a small uh, stone rolling free from her form. Snatchies. Okay. You go and pick it up. It looks like a, a small uh, jeweled cat's head. Not like an actual cat's head, but a stone carved to look like a cat's head with uh, two jade eyes. Oh. I'm gonna slip that bad boy right in my pocket for now. Um, just in case, just in case, Forest Lady's gonna try to stick, take it back. As you uh, step out of the hut and in or into the swamplands, uh, you notice um, no more of the green flying birds overhead. <clears throat> And then you notice uh, another sound, uh -oh. and it sounds mournful and sad, and it echoes out through the swamps. It's just crying, almost, uh, emanating off of the hollow trees. Continues to wail for a few moments, uh, this okay. large, older woman continues to tug at your wrist, moving south towards Verez. Can I fly up a little bit, see if I can get a view of whatever is crying? Um, sure. Uh, give me a perception check as you fly over the treetop. Yeah! Is, is the... Is the... Not awful. Uh, uh, 17. 17? Okay. okay. Um, uh, focusing in and trying to look, uh, you notice the sound seems to be coming from several of the giant figures, which are now running away from Rez. Uh-oh. Uh, off in various directions. And as you look out, you can see not just the few that you had seen earlier, but uh, many more seem to have populated the swamp, and they are now fleeing off in different directions before you lose track of them. That's going to be a problem for somebody. <laughs> Are we... So the hut is on the ground now? The hut is on the ground, yes. Before I leave the hut, can I look around more? Because I want to see if I can't find the other gem and any signs of Davian. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the raven guy. <laughs> Um, sure, give me an investigation check as you, uh, look through the hut. Oh. Um, you do not, uh, seem to find either of those things or, uh, anything else that really stands out. Um, Vaughn, I'd forgotten to mention, on top of the roof, with your ghostly gaze, you Tem. would have noticed, or yeah, sorry, sorry, no, oh. Tem, three, three letter names. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, Tem, you would have noticed a, a skull, resting on the roof, of the house. Mm. A very large skull. Um, you're not entirely sure what it was from that angle, but um, it was a large skull resting on the roof. All right, I will. Use. Well, I'm. I'm assuming I'm back in human form because I went unconscious. Died. Um. But I will shift into were raven form and I will fly to the roof. Okay. Um. As you ascend upward, uh, the woman releasing your grip as you transform, watches you fly up, and just kind of looks at you a little impatiently. <laughs> uh, you fly up to the top of the roof and. You see uh, this off-white uh, bone-colored skull. It's uh, the top of its head seems to have been uh, completely removed, 
but you notice and so it takes you a moment to recognize what kind of skull it might be and then it hits you this is what a dragon looks like <gasps> oh shit and as is you it move he, over like, towards it, it it is is large can i carry it um it's a little too heavy to carry and as you move closer uh you see what appears to be uh some kind of cushion setting at the base or at the base of its uh hollowed out head i'm gonna go sit in the cushion for a second just a second i know this is okay. all waiting yeah. a more iconic off. duo seats and steven's characters <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit in the seat. Okay. This soft cushion. Is it fly? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It doesn't seem like it's flying as you sit in it. No, Can no, I no. Will it into the air? Need the code word. Okay. Um, I will push it off the edge. I'll try and push it off the edge. Oh my god! To you're gonna break it. Ground. Okay. Give me a give me a strength <laughs> check as you attempt to move it. Ah, oh, fuck. This didn't go well last time. It fucking didn't go well that time either. That's a, that's a save, but same thing. Oh, um, yeah. It, it does not seem to budge uh, at all as you try to push it. It's quite a heavy skull. Uh, Sazed, can you bring your evil creature up here to get this skull? There's a dragon skull up here. He's not it's evil. Good. I think. I'll go up there. Maybe evil, maybe not evil. Creature. Aren't you getting a little distracted? Uh, you supposed to no, this something? is also important. This is also important. There's a lot of important things happening right now. What is it? Many important things. Uh, it's the skull of a dragon, I think. Oh, Ooh, aren't we looking for that? Cool. Asmir yeah, doesn't think... know that you guys are looking for dragon body parts. But Asmir, if you did... do, do you have dragon body parts? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't <laughs> respond to your thoughts. I apologize. Uh -oh. <laughs> if Raylan was there, he'd be like, hey, didn't those people from Argon Vosholt want those fucking dragon bodies? Uh, none of us know what he saw, he just flew off and left. Yeah, I'm yelling, there's a dragon skull. There's a dragon skull for the Argon Vosholt people. Oh, fuck that, it's ours now. I'll go up and gonna, try to... We're gonna fly all over the fucking place now. A, a dragon skull that doesn't fly. I will assist him with either oh. trying to lift it up or seeing if it fits in any... If we can get all the parts, we can take it to the doctor. Uh, um, it is... It is far too large to fit into anything. The best you can... I mean, the first thing that comes to mind... I wouldn't say the best because you might come up with something else. But the first thing that comes to mind is that you could maybe carry this on the top of your carriage. Yeah. <sighs> But that's how big it is. I know. I know. Tim's riding on top of the carriage in this dragon skull throne. How far away is the carriage? Um, so it would not fit in a like bag of holding. No. Go get the carriage and bring it up here. What if we don't a bigger have bag of holding. Oh, Jesus. drink it. Oh, that's um, right. We have the horses. That's right. We took. We took all the horses. Drink it? For a minute. Well, I could get it over to the carriage in a minute. We don't, we don't have, have a carriage. Have back in uh, here. Our carriage is in. Uh, we walked. No, we rode, rode horses. horses. But... <laughs> oh, it's big horses ladies in the carriage. teleport. Yeah, sure. Go do your go do your thing and ask her uh, along the way. Oh, okay. Go eat. Reduce on it. To go to eat get that it the freaking heart on that shrine. Quit being a okay. pussy. I'll it... carry the heart. She carries the skull. Cause she's awesome. big, right? It shrinks down to a size that would be uh, a lot more manageable, more like a uh, a larger rock. Uh, you have to use both arms and wrap it around it, but uh, you are able to hold on to it uh, on top of your nightmare. Well, I bring it down to the ground and set it down. Okay. Sazed, are you able to contact that one guy? Um, I can't remember his name. From Argon told. To see if maybe he and some of Sir Godfrey brothers, yeah, can come help us take it. Oh, I do have a couple fifth level spells left. I send a message to Sir Godfrey at fifth level. 
You think that would give me more words? <laughs> or like... <laughs> what would you like to send to Sir Godfrey? Ooh, where are we? The Red Swamp. We found a large dragon skull. Is that one word or two words? In the swamps Ew. of the res. We can't carry it, it's very heavy. What should we do? You can respond to this message. You have possibly found the remains of Argonvost Holt. You must return them back as soon as possible. Uh, uh, under any means necessary. And that that's all he said. I feel like when I send these messages, people don't listen to me, and they are very <laughs> not helpful. It's almost like they respond as NPCs. <clears throat> it's almost like they got so excited that he missed the part where he said, "Do you dare... is it back to being big yet?" Yes. Yes. Can I try to drag it? Can I just like grab it by like its eye sockets and just pull? With my yeah, sure. Give me a strength check. Massive, bulging strength. That's a save. That's save as well, but I think it's the <laughs> same because you don't have proficiency. So, uh, 16. You are able to drag it a little, I mean, quite slowly, given your speed. Oh, yeah, let's stick with the 16. Oh, it is the same. Okay. Mm, was just, I, have, I have an idea. Um, You said there was a mattress in that house? Um, are we going to tie it like a sled? Not, it's not much of one. <gasps> I just need something that Oseos can drag behind him with it sitting on it, and I can tie it to it. Just drag the whole skull. Just drag the skull. I mean, just I mean, I don't think it's, it's gonna probably break, right? a better idea to put it on the mattress, like she said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull a potion out and spill it on the ground. And then I'm going to pull the skull through the grease. <laughs> okay, that does help with the traction for a little while. About 10 feet? <laughs> yes. But ten foot uh, once you move past it, it uh, does not slide as easily. Um, I will also mention that the mattress inside was a uh, oh. essentially a sheet with uh, hay and straw sewn into it, as most mattresses in this world would be and it was sounds so like a perfect sled. just so we're aware of what it sounds is. like it's gonna get shredded to pieces aren't we in like a foot of water too it is about a foot of water yes foot of muddy murky ground i wouldn't necessarily say water i mean say that you could get off the nightmare and the nightmare could just carry it right you just put it on the back uh, it like, is larger heavy. than the nightmare. Fucking hell, I thought it was smaller than that. Well, we're just gonna have to leave it here until we can get the carriage and... It isn't going to worse. It's a big fuck off school. I have nothing that could carry. Let's make a sled. I'm uh, not... I'm actually, not here. I look around what? for pieces of wood and things that we can hobble together for a sled. What if we just ask one of the giants Ooh. to carry it? Oh, they're running away. Will apologize for killing their mommy. Up to an hour. If we wait, if we take, if we rest for an hour, I can summon something that will carry the skull. You can summon think... something stronger than our friend here. That's like you carry it, right? No, I flex when he says my friend here. Assuming he's talking about me. I can just summon an undead to carry it. Yes, because undead are generally known for their strength. Stronger than me. Could you uh, summon uh, uh, an, uh, an undead giant? Uh, no. I cannot. Just a, just an undead. No, yeah, maybe that's not going to work. I go back um, in the house and get the mattress. Hobbled together mattress. There were tables. 
Ooh. We can oh, yeah. Yeah, there were... down. I go get a table. Yeah, looking around in there, uh, it wouldn't be too hard to find uh, the pieces to make something like a sled if you tied uh, some rope oh. up. Um, it would definitely make it a lot easier to uh, carry it. The and table we... itself is not quite large enough, but maybe if you uh, strapped... Uh, the rug? Underneath you, it? Yeah, the rug underneath it or uh, something like that. It might create a frame large enough to hold the whole skull. Did the bassinet have wheels? I will do my best to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, and I, use, I have 50 feet of rope. I will use that too. Okay. I have rope too, so if we need more. Oh, is there any like metal stuff in the house that I could like tinker with to try to like form like rudimentary wheels that we could attach to whatever we're building? There's a set of tools on the table. I have my own tools. I just need to like carve maybe like some wood or something into wheels that we could then like attach to some sort of rod to form some sort of axle. Okay. Um, we're going to try and build a cart then. And for that, <laughs> it is going to be a skill challenge. Oh, no. So um, you can use tools for this skill challenge since you are building something. So if you are proficient in a tool, you can... Use that, if you can find a way to. Um, everyone go on ahead and roll initiative for me. Even me. Oh no. See which order you act in. I'll go last. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Let's... Let's... Oh, I Wait. guess I'll go first. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try because, you know, more hands, less... <laughs> Okay, this will require six total successes to <laughs> be completed before you receive three failures and are unable to make a cart. Uh -oh. So, seize it. You are up first. How would you like to contribute to the construction of the cart? I would like to persuade it into oh. being a cart. How would you like to try to do that? So we could see if that could possibly even work. I am. Um, Can I? Um, as no. a note, and this is an important note that I do need to inform you of, the beginning of the skill challenge, the DC starts low, and it increases on each success. It reduces on a failure. Can I hold off and wait until everyone else starts maybe putting stuff together and if I see someone maybe mess up or do a crack, I'll cast Mending on it to form it back together. Okay. Okay. That'll work. Uh, you are holding your turn. Tim, you are up. Tim is just going to look around and <laughs> scratch his head. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I said we leave it, but no. I have no clue how to do this. Wow. I will hold the table. <laughs> I'll just put my hands on the table. I'm helping. Tem has okay. no idea how to build a card. Like, um, well, what, what kind of skill? Just think of what you might want to contribute to it and how that might translate into a skill. Somebody tell be... me what to do, and I will do it. <laughs> it I have no be, tools. Uh, I have no tool skills. I have no nothing like that. It could be uh, searching for um, pieces to add to it that might be good and sturdy uh, additions, or it could be um, trying to hammer something, uh, or uh, tie rope, or any I need anything some rods. like that. Okay, I will pull my. I will pull the rope. Oh, actually, I have some. Well, that's where I go. I, I will pull the rope out of my bag and hold my rope until somebody asks me to tie it somewhere. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I have rope. Dresley, you were you were next. First, I'm gonna look at Casimir and tell him he's probably the one that's really gonna be doing this. But I can. Oh, fuck. We're gonna put some music on. 
Craft that, that music. Would, no, that's my idea. <laughs> I say Bob the Builder. Mm. Alright, I have rope, so I'll just hang that over Tim so he's holding two. Okay. Casimir, what are you going to need? I can go into the house and get anything. I need some metal. I need some rods. I've got all my tools. Nails. Just grab everything. Okay, so you would like to search the house for something? That would be um, investigation or perception. Investigation. Okay, um, you're able to find some uh, sturdy pieces of uh, wood separate from the table, um, the uh, side table that the uh, strange altar seemed to be part or seemed to be put on top of seems like very good wood, as well as a couple of boards that break free from the house, not quite nailed all the way in. Um, you pull them out and you bring them out and add them to the parts, and that is a success, Bon. Uh, you are next. Oh, 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 oh boy. Um, of course I know everything about building, because I've built so much stuff in my past. Uh, what do you what do you need me to do here? Is there, is, do we have wheels? Or are we just gonna make a sled? I use my persuasion to tell him what to do. Use your perception and go find stuff that can help be helpful. Alright, I'm gonna go in there, uh... Go in the lovely... Or around the forest. Get some twine and twigs and stuff like that to tie stuff off. No, we oh, have rope. Sure. Find more wood, too. Anything! I'll go in the house and look for a circle... Oh, some planks. Sure. Okay, uh, give me a perception check as you go in to try and find, uh... Something else to add to the cart. Okay, uh, that is another success. Oh, I thought you were going to say fail. Yeah, Thank God. Fail. We're getting close. close um, bon, you are able to find a, a jar of uh, pretty solid looking uh, nails. Doesn't seem to be rusted in any way, shape, or form. Uh, there's a finger in them but uh <laughs> the nails would be. the nails are pretty good quality and you bring them out and set them down next to the rest of the components hey guys i found some nails here you go and a finger well you nailed it guy. hey like we all take that. psychic damage <laughs> uh casimir it is your turn how would you like to contribute to the building of the cart i would like to take some uh either wood or if there's chunks of metal and try to just use my tinkering tools to try to f shape them into some rudimentary wheels. Okay, give me a check with your tinkerer's tools. Oh, that was almost a 16. Okay, as you are uh, trying to form them into uh, wheels, you hear a crack along the metal as you're, try as you're bending it uh, Ooh, around the center axle. Um, give me an Arcana check for mending. Woo! 20! Saves it. 20? Okay. That is one failure, followed by a success from Sazed. Uh, Sazed uh, reaches out with his power. You see the crack start to uh, form back together and you continue forming it into uh, a pretty good set of wheels. Um, Seize it, it is your turn again. Can I take out my viol and play a nice inspiring tune for everyone to get either get their confidence up or okay. alone help them? That would the be process charisma go. or performance. Let's go performance. SH rolled good, so let's try another one. Ooh, 
17 plus 9, 26. Okay, that is a success. And uh, you see them uh, gathering the pieces together, starting to put them into a, a form as you play your viol. A yeah, doing great. jaunty little tune. Um, they start to speed up a little bit, getting the pieces into the right spot and uh, nailing the planks into place. Uh, Tim, it is your turn. Uh, does it look like anybody needs help? Uh, um, you can try to help somebody if you'd like. How would you like to help them? Um, I got it. What yes, are you proficient in? Uh, by, performing the, by performing the help nothing. action. I have no tool for skills. So not, not, it's a skill uh, challenge, not a tool yeah, challenge. skills, not tools. Intimidation, not tools. insight, deception. No, I'm not. No, I'm not proficient in any skills that would. You can like use your glaive to like. You don't have, have to be proficient in the skill to mm -hmm. use True. the skill either. You can also use straight ability checks. Um, to try and do something, if you can explain a reason why you would be using that ability. Um, Carve up the table into more aerodynamic. <laughs> Maybe a glaive is not appropriate tool for that. Um... Oh, it's only so the guy with the magic anything weapon you wanted. <laughs> uh, you know. They could literally turn into an a saw if you wanted to. Yeah, but nobody else could use it, so. You need to use you it. You could use point. it. Okay, I will turn my... You're automatically proficient in your weapon, so... This is true. Can I turn it into a saw? I sure. I can turn it into a saw. You've right, seen well... a saw before, and it would count as an improvised weapon, which you can turn your pack weapon into. Okay, well, I'll turn it into a saw, and I will... Saw, saw boards planks. into okay. a knife shape. Okay, give you me that would be uh, it would be charisma check. Charisma because your weapon is charisma based. Oh, oh my okay. god! All right. Uh, with Tem music. moving around the cart with his saw, I guess it didn't repeat, did it? No, nope. f me. Oh, the music, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I meant I meant he got the natural twenty because of my music. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, with Tem moving around the edges of the cart and the rest of you compiling the pieces in uh, and Casimir yeah. hammering the planks into place, it's starting to take shape and looks almost complete. Uh, Dresley, you are up. Okay, so this is like something like we can't use one that we already did. Yes, you cannot use a skill that you have already used. Um... What all can you use athletics for? Like holding the wood in place while Casimir does stuff? Or... Yeah, you could use athletics for something like that, or maybe lifting the cart so they could work on the underside and attach the axle, or... Yeah, I'll I'll help them. I'll use athletics and, uh, like, lift it so they can get underneath it, or holding something in place. Okay, give me an athletics check, then. Mm. Okay. Dresley lifts up the uh, back end of this cart, and uh, Casimir and Bond take either side of it with the axle and wheels that Casimir had fashioned, and attach them to the underside as she holds it aloft. And it's the cart is now functional. Yay! We did it. We made a cart. Hey, wait! We're not done. Oh no. And Casper will walk up to him and pull out his calligraphy tools, and on the side he'll write, S. S. Lasagna. <laughs> I destroyed the whole thing with Fireball. Uh, as you complete your cart, you see uh, off next to one of the dead trees a now sleeping, this, the now sleeping form of uh, the woman who is trapped. <laughs> 
Oh, among God. the thorny vines. Like, he's here uh, chilling, watching us pull the car, like, come on, tapping his she, foot. <laughs> she wandered off over to the tree and just rested. Um, and here, in the swamps of Rez, after defeating Baba Lasaga and freeing Jenny Green Teeth's sister. Oh, <gasps> spoiler alert. And completing a cart. <laughs> a cart. That's where we end tonight's session.